morning, morning. I don't think Wendy's uh, earpiece is working. <laughs> <laughs> she came in, went out, chatting away, walking across the set left, and I was like, shh, shush, Wendy, shush, Wendy, I'm about to speak. Anyway, good morning, how are you? Uh, now, I need to tell you a few things. First of all, if Joe Carter and I pass out today, that's because we've had somebody in to fix the air conditioning. We've walked in this morning, and it's like a sauna, right? But we can't turn it down, so we've got heat pumping out of these machines and it's like oh and then my con camera just went like this if i fall asleep we'll have a lovely we'll have a lovely shot of the roof we'd have a lovely shot of the ceiling he's from dudley or somewhere like that anyway uh look. should we have a look at today's menu here we go uh coming up today with me john scott now why do i get my full name and i was watching natasha yesterday she just gets natasha like madonna you know what I mean? Anyway, or at 8 o'clock, we've got the Wordplay Fabric Launch. Wordplay Fabric Launch. Oh, now, also, in that hour, which isn't mentioned there, we've also got a special deal on the 680 sewing machine. So that's in the 8 o'clock hour, and the, the deal is at 8.45. Then at 9 o'clock, we've got Joe Carter's lambs, which I've just shown you. 10 o'clock, we've got the pre-cut fabric hour. And then to 11 o'clock, we've got the Galaxy Quilt Kit, like you have never seen before. So... Uh, the first hour is me with some Premier fabrics and some fabrics to go with it. Then at 8.45, we're doing a special, uh, um, not Christmas, not Christmas, sewing machine, sewing machine launch. Uh, then at, um, oh no, I've lost it now, it's gone off my screen. Then at 9 o'clock, obviously, we're doing this. Which is, the, which is the lovely lamb with uh, Joe Carter. Then at 10 o'clock, I've got pre-cut hour. Now I've got premieres. I've got some Jennifer Paganelli that I've never, ever seen before. Now it has been on air before once, but I've never seen it before. It's beautiful. Then at 11 o'clock, do you want to see the quilt that we're doing? We have got the, well, you might have seen this. Are we going to see it? Are we not going to still of it yet? Sorry, my bad. Okay, there you go, look. Now you've seen the quilt before, it's a Lynn Goldsworthy quilt that she did for Macau, but we've done it in different fabrics. We've done it in Michael Miller stars and beautiful spectrum and it's gorgeous, isn't it? So we've got that in two different colorways coming up at 11 o'clock. Now, it's very tactile, it's gorgeous, soft, squidgy fabric. Anyway, I'll stop playing with that. Uh, right, Adriana, uh, we'd love you to get in touch. We would love you to get in touch. And the best way to do that is our, our web chat on our website. So what you need to do is go to the website. You click on Watch Today's Show. Now, you do have to log in to do this bit, but it doesn't cost you anything. You just write, you see where it says Message to Studio there? You just write your message. Keep it short and sweet because that cuts you off at our end after 140 uh, characters. Uh, so uh, leave a message there. Now, um, am I running? a bit late today because normally I can show you products from yesterday's show where it says products from today's show in a minute as I introduce different kits or bundles or fabrics or bunting or anything like that they will appear down there so if you're watching later on on the repeat you can just go straight to today's show and have a good look at what we've had you can click on it and put it in your basket now also the way other ways you can put things in your basket is by going up to the top of the page here you see where it says add to the basket when we're doing a live auction live sale the the, the uh, item that we're selling will appear there just click on it add it to your basket now if you you know you want it my tip is check out straight away if you know you definitely want it uh, check out straight away you can check out as many times as you like during the day at the top right hand corner there it says basket so you'll see how many items you've got there you can check out as many times as you like during the day because it's only one pmp of two pound 95 for the whole day we also love you to send in your pictures and your longer emails and the way to do that is send us an email to studio at sewingquarter.com studio at sewingquarter.com now i've got lots of things to tell you well not lots but i've got two uh, very very important things to tell you first of all our birthday week i, I, I don't want to start it's not a negative but I, i'm just being honest with you i just want you to know these things the birthday week was far busier than anyone anticipated we've got extra staff in the warehouse but obviously they oh they are having to catch up. So there may be, now some people won't have a delay, but there could be a delay on your order. So please, please, please bear with us. Or you can always ring the call center to check with them. But more importantly for today and tomorrow, we've got to spend and save. We have got a spend and save. Now, normally we say, oh, this only includes things on the web or this only includes this. It includes everything except gift vouchers. Everything except gift vouchers. Terms and conditions are on the uh, website. Now, it's for the whole weekend. 
So if you are thinking of buying a sewing machine, maybe later on, or, well, I've got, I've got like I said, I'm doing the uh, 680, I've got a special deal on the 680 today. Um, but also, I'll tell you now, I'll tell you now, tomorrow, I've got a whole sewing machine extravaganza tomorrow. I'm not supposed to tell you what's coming up, but just if you, if, I, well, no, no, it's only fair though, isn't it? If you're thinking, because it'll give you all day, Linda, Linda, I've got deals on all the machines tomorrow. Anyway, 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 um, go back, sorry, go back to the spend and save. What you have to do is when you check out, you have to put the save, the save code. So if you spend um, 50 pounds, you get five pounds off with the code save, save five. Spend 75 pounds, you get 10 pounds off. And spend 100 pounds, you get 15 pounds off. But you do have to write the, sa the code as you check out. So save five, save 10, save 15. That's today and tomorrow Sunday until eight o'clock on Monday morning. It stops at 7.59 on Monday morning. I know, fantastic. Now, is there anything else I've got to tell you? I think that's it, isn't it? New buyers, new, if you're a new buyer, if you're a new buyer, you know we always have a free gift. We always have a lovely, look at this, this is so cute. Uh, if you spend 10 pounds or over, not including your post and packaging. Oh, by the way, the spend and save doesn't include your post and packaging. So don't spend 47 pounds and 50 pence, whatever it is. You have to, you know what I mean? It's, it's not, doesn't include your post and packaging. This, if you're a new buyer and you spend over 10 pounds on your first purchase, you get this lovely little uh, cutting mat. Worth 16.99, that, there it is, there it is, there it is. Right, I'll, I'll just come over here. <laughs> Oh, I've turned it down. It's down to 26 now. Yeah, but it's not making any difference. Do you know what? Even we've got, it, we're in, on a roof like this in here, right? And they've got, what's that like? I always think it looks like it's inside of a spaceship. You know, like the silver, they've got the egg box thing, plastic, and then they've got the um, silver. Even that's dripping with condensation because it's so hot in here. Anyway, let's get on, let's get on. Got some brand new fabrics. Got some brand new fabrics to show you. Oops. I'm just going to move that a second. I'll come back to that in a second because brand spanking new. Now, I've only got one, two, three, four, five. I've only got five premieres to show you, but they're worth looking at. Oh, boy, are they worth it. Let's start. They're by Wyndham Fabrics. Now, obviously, I'm wafting a metre here. If you're new to us, we sell our fabrics by half metre increments. So if you're buying on the web, um, for, to buy half a metre, you put one unit in. To buy a metre, you put two units in. Isn't it lovely? What would you make out of this, do you reckon? I don't think it would be clothes, would it? So, um, well, let me just have a look here. So you get, the le you get the random letters and numbers, but you get a fried, oh, where are you? Fried egg there, a pear there, an umbrella there, an apple. Where? H for Hannah. Little Hannah there. Heart. Oh, H for Hannah. Little H for H for heart. Kite. Oh, hang on. They've, are they next to the appropriate letters? Q for Queen. S for Moon. Now, yeah, S for Moon doesn't work though, does it? H for heart. P for pear. A for apple. Oh, you see some of them. It's just that one that doesn't work. Unless that's, what's that? What? Maybe it means solar. But then that's the app. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. Is that, unless that's the sun doing eclipse over the moon. Does that happen? Does that happen? Anyway, it's lovely, isn't it? All those lovely bright colours. Uh, so it's 6.99 for half a metre, 100% cotton, machine washable. From Wyndham Fabrics. It's called World Play by Sarah Fielke. Now, uh, well, this one says it's cool. Oh, no. I thought it said Sylvie. It's just Sylvie. It's always a style. Um, nice, though, isn't it? Lovely. I'll put my hands in so you can see the size of the blocks. Sorry about my nails. Oh, dear. Do you know what I did? You know, once a month, I have a good old clean through the whole house. Well, that was yesterday, right? And I, I'd, fi I'd finish. Right? Oh, I bought new, I bought new um, Hoover and everything. Um, Anyway, oh, well, except I, couldn't, I got in a bit of stress because I couldn't find one of the um, attachments, the attachments to do your stairs with. And I was just getting ready to ring John Lewis. And I thought, I'd just have another look. On the bottom, right, there's a little thing that says press. And you press there, and this thing pops open, and it's your, the one to do corners with and the one to do your stairs with, hidden inside it. Anyway, 
I'm glad I didn't ring now because I felt really stupid. Anyway, after I'd done all my housework, I thought all oh, my nails and my nails were catching on everything. So I went to the back door, didn't take my glasses, do my clipping that Amy bought me. Gone a bit too low. I should have gone to Amy. Well, it's funny because Dulcie, my friend Dulcie, been to Amy. She, oh, Amy says she's not seen you for a while. Amy, Amy's lady does the nails. Anyway, you know when you cut them too short, and the, uh, uh, you know you know people who bite their nails and they, it goes down, and then you, your finger. Do what people say, Hannah? I would never use that word, Hannah. Anyway, they're sore. So don't look too closely. Now, this is nice. I think I prefer this. I think I do, because normally I'd go for the multicoloured, wouldn't I? But I quite like this. So you can see the pictures a bit more, can't you? The H for heart. I said the fried egg, except it's a bit worrying. I've never had a purple fried egg before. What's that one over there? Hang on, I've seen one we hadn't had before. Y yarn! Yarn, of all sorts, it's right out of the way. There must be one in the... Hey, there you go. Well, I thought yo-yo to start with, but I think it's more like a thread, isn't it? A ball of wool. Apple, umbrella. Actually, they're very clever, because you think there's going to be lots more, but there's not... Oh, now, you see, on this one, they've made the S. They've made it bright yellow. Oh, hang on, where are we? Where's the S on this one? There. They've made it bright yellow, like the sun. But how often do you see a crescent sun? I don't know if you do. Oh, look, there's yarn in red as well. Oh, hang on, you're not going to see it. Can you see it there? There's yarn in red as well there, look. And a yellow pair. Oh, yes, there's a moon in blue down there. Well, except it's S. N for night. No. Anyway. No, because it's always the one this side, look. K for kite, Q for queen, E for egg. I don't know. It's lovely anyway, isn't it? I don't know. I'll give up. I've done my prep. I did as much prep as I could. That's lovely, isn't it? 100% cotton machine washable, remember. OK, now the others haven't got any colour in. If you like the monochrome... <laughs> I don't know if one to... Oh, that's nice. Oh, this is lovely fabric, this one. Oh, sorry, did I just bang my microphone then? <gasps> A curmudgeon. Now, if somebody used that word with me the other day, curmudgeon. Euphoria, colander, penultimate, eucal oh, now eucalyptus has only got eucalypt, hasn't got eucalyptus, needle. What's a by for by oh what a where's crump? I can't see crumpet. Right. Vex, I've just seen Vex there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Vex crumpet graffiti. Samphire. But what's this here? Hang on. Um what? Uh, hang on, where's that word gone? Yeah, that's what I'm looking for now. Discombobulate up here. To confuse or disconcert, upset or frustrate. Try working here. What's this? Oh, hang on. What's an ambergris? It's work. Oh, here you go, hang on. No, that's patchwork there. There you go, an opaque ash-coloured secretion of, oh, of the whale. Oh, <laughs> excuse me. Right, that's the one I don't know there. What does this one? Bifurcate, to divide or fork into two branches. Well, I never knew that. Or fossic, to search for any object by which to make gains. Do you know what? Yes, this should be on one of those quiz shows, shouldn't it? You'd imagine Sandy Toxvig to be on it, wouldn't you? Or QI. Is she on QI? I was thinking of... No, I see. In the old days, there used to be a lunchtime programme on, Hannah. You wouldn't remember this. And there were two teams, and they were given a funny name, like a funny word, like one of those that we just had. And then the three celebrities had to go, oh, yes, pontificate, that means such a... And then the other team had to guess which one was the right... What was it called? It was very, very popular. Anyway, Sandy Toxwig was on that in lunchtime. Oh, oh, I felt a little bit of cool air then. 
and Wendy hasn't even touched the machine, so maybe we better not touch the machine. Um, vexed, graffiti, scissors, saucer, fake, design, spectrum, undefined, horde, slink. What's that one there? Oh, it's colour, isn't it? Cerulean, yeah, it's a colour. Sorry, I'm going too fast for the camera to keep up. What did you just see, Hannah? No, that's not what she said. She said something else. Anyway, it's all there. Nice, isn't it? That's lovely. I, I used to have um, a shirt made out of words like that. Well, it was made out of fabric, but it had words on it. It wasn't just made out of words. Right, OK. OK, that's lovely. OK, don't start. Now, this next one is words, but much smaller. But this one's different. Look. Again, this is a meter that I'm showing you. Now, the camera will have to come in very, very close to see this one, I think. This is Wordplay Fabrics in white, 6 99 And it's just got Wordplay written on it. But then, um, what does it say in between the words? Let's have a look. Call my bluff. That's what it was called. Thank you, whoever sent that in. Tim, Reva, hello Reva, my love, uh, Louise and customer have all said it was called my bluff. Thank you for that. Oh, and now wrapping, what's this here? It's a noun most commonly used with reference to wrapping and emceeing. Wordplay, isn't that Coldplay? Don't they mean Coldplay? Oh, okay. Well, I don't know, what, are these all different meanings of wordplay then? Let me go to another one. Used in place of standard rhymes structure. OK. Oh. Nice, though, isn't it? Because, see, now, when you're close to, it's going to cause... I, 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 I wouldn't make a blouse out of it, because you will have people reading your um, chest, if you're not careful. Um, Though most repartee verbal with two. I don't understand this. Um, what's Julie I've got to say? Good morning, Julie. Good morning, John. Every day is a school day. Lovely to have you back. Thank you, Julie, my love. It's only two days. Only two days. And now I'm in, uh, what day is it? Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. I'm in three days now. Tomorrow's going to be an interesting day. You must tune in tomorrow. Right. Yeah, tomorrow we'll really need lots of messages. I'm sort of on my own most of the day tomorrow. Uh, now, this is completely... Now, if you look from a distance, right, look from a distance, first of all. It looks like it's got a diagonal stripe on it, doesn't it? But when you look at the diagonal stripe, it's almost saying, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, exclamation mark, at, star, dollar, ampersand. This is, I guess, so Hannah's phone... Well, two things, really. First of all, Hannah's phone, after she dropped it down the toilet, you can't WhatsApp her on it anymore because it does this. Or also, if Hannah looks at that, she could just read a story from that. Yeah, she could read that. Number fabric in white from the word player. This is the last one I'm going to show you in this range today. OK. Now, if you want, because what often happens, isn't it, is people go, oh, I'd like to have a half metre of each of those to make a nice quilt. I've done a mega bundle for you. We've done a mega bundle. Half a metre of each of those fabrics. Be two and a half metres there, won't you? 30, oh, look. 34 pounds and 49 pence. That's doing funny things to my eyes, that picture. There you go. So you get half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre. £34.49. pence. So if you love the chase, or if you love tipping point, I've never watched it, I'm just thinking, because that's Ben, isn't it? That's Ben who does that one. What other shows are there? I saw Ryland, Ryland's got, a, uh, like, Ryland's got some sort of um, quiz show now, where they're all in the Caribbean on speedboats and things. Um, pointless, uh, yeah, life is. Oh, oh, we thought I thought Ricky Vegan was giving another giving us another uh, game show. Then, uh, what's the one they do crosswords with uh, Richard Whiteley, but not Richard Whiteley? Yeah, countdown. Carol Valderman, she's on it, isn't she? Oh, yeah, that that's not the same one though, Hannah. 
Well, no, that's what this would be good for. That would just be just a minute, that one's called, isn't it? On Radio 4. That's, that's Hannah trying to be highbrow with you all now. £34.49. Uh, so a two and a half metre mega bundle, well, they haven't called it a mega bundle, me mega bundle just called it a bundle. Two and a half metres, £34.49. Right, now, if you're buying that, you're thinking, do you know what, some fabrics go with it. Now, I I've complained about this, not, not when designing, but they call this bundle the monotone bundle, which to me is a sound, right? But this is a monochrome bundle. I like it, I like it because you get spot on, you get a linear and you get three spectrum solids, two and a half meters, so now you've got heron gray, antique white, black slate and silver. This is the silver spot on. This is the heron gray in the linear there. Half meter of each 19, but now you might not even come in and buy any of this, but this is always good for your stash. Always, always, always good for your stash, isn't it? 19 pounds and 49 pence. Who has? Oh, Kathy says she loves Just a Minute on the radio as well. Um, there's lots, aren't there, really? £19.49. OK, now, if, maybe monochrome's not your thing, and rainbow is. Or maybe you mix it in. I'll look at both of them together in a second. Let me just put this one out because this is a big bundle, this one. This has got some of the most beautiful colours. Hang on, let me just get them all. There's so many in here, it's going to look. Uh, five metres, so ten different fabrics, half a metre of each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There they all are. Uh, five metres of fabric, ten different fabrics, half a metre. Oh, look, 31.99. I've got the colours, bright orange, bright red, cornflower blue, emerald, fuchsia, lime, nautical, real purple, violet and yellow. Learned all those before I came on. Oh, I didn't even question that one. So, let me just have a look. Nice. That's the, the uh, for second one we did. So this bundle here is £31.99. You get five metres of fabric, half a metre of each one. And then this one here, in a minute, the graphics will come across the bottom of your screen. There you go, text fabric in white from Wordplay. £6.99 for half a metre. So you've got half a metre of that one as well. Imagine how lovely that's going to all look. Let me just put, there you go. Look. So this is £31.99. This is £6.99 for half a metre. Now, if you buy, I'll just take this one out a second. I'll just explain for new buyers, right? If you buy a bundle like this, you'll get half a metre of each fabric. If you buy two of those bundles, you get two half metres of pink, two half metres of red, two half metres of orange, two half metres of green, like that. But if you buy this, if you buy half a metre, obviously you get half a metre. If you buy three units, a metre and a half, then it comes as one big piece. So the fabric off the bolt that you buy by the half metre We'll all come join together. So if you want six metres, you'll get six metres in total, in a one piece sort of thing. Whereas the bundles, if they've already been cut like this, then you'll obviously get two bundles, two sets like that. I just need to get that right for you. Nice. OK. Also, do you want to see it with a coloured one as well? Because this one looks nice. Well, I'll put that one with it there. This one's text in multicolour. Look. I'll just get it all in the shot. There you go. Appealing is the word, we think. So the bundle is 31 99 The fabric is 6 99 for half a metre. If you're doing a kid, a kid, is, a kid imagine a kiddie's quilt made out of that. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? There's no number. I, I don't... She's saying bingo. It's not bingo at all. That's not bingo. That's why you've never won at Gala Bingo, isn't it, really? Because you've gone in with doing the wrong thing. House. It's uh, quite stressful. When you go to bingo, I'm a member of um, Gala Bingo. And um, not, the, not the telly. I used to be on that one. 
Uh, the actual, I think it might have run out. Now. You have to be a member. You can't just turn up and do it. You have to become a member. And um, it's very serious. You can't mess about. <sighs> no, you cannot mess about. My friend Charlie, he's a bingo caller, and you can't mess about in there. Right, can I just put these two bundles together? Because I think these two look rather lovely together. So I've got monotone and bright rainbow. Look, that works, doesn't it? So how much would that be? 30, 40... 49.50, 51 and a half, 51 pound 50. Oh, buy both of those, put in the code, put in the code say five and you get five pounds knocked off. You'll get five pounds knocked off if you bought both of those. I oh, know. Fantastic, isn't it? And then a beautiful stash when you get, her, well, when, it, when it's delivered. Nice, isn't it lovely? Well, I've got to get on because I've got a sewing machine thing to do in 15 minutes. I'm overindulged, you know what I'm saying? Right, okay, so I'll put that there, that there. Now, we've got these panels, right? Which every time we bring them to air, they sell out. So if you want to go... Oh, I don't know why it was hanging there. It's got nothing to do with that behind me. Nothing to do with it whatsoever. I've got a bunting panel and a panel panel. I've got the bunting made up here. I took it off the table there because it would do. Look. Right, oh, okay. We had hundreds of these panels. I'll show you them in a minute. I've only got 20 of each left now. So, so it's Macau's new range, it's called Fruity Friends. Yep. Right, so the bunting panel, it's not already made. It's not already made, oh, it's not already made. You have to buy the panel, here's the panel. So I've only got 20 of these left. I've only got 20 left. So that's it, 5 dollars it's a, only been on air once. It's only been on air once. I know we'll order more. I know we'll order more if we can get them. Oh, it's upside down, isn't it? Sorry. One job, John Scott, one job. There you go. Oh, there we go. They're flying out already. Fruity Friends Bunting Panel by Macau. 60 centimetres. 5 99 So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 16 pennants. So now what you could do is uh, the fabrics I'm going to show you, like on the back of here, you see there's um, the ginghams on the back of here. Um, I'm going to show you the ginghams in a second. So you can make 16 and get some backing, or you could make eight. If they're going to be seen from both sides, if you want a, something, a pattern on both sides, you can make eight pendants on there. 5 99 Hurry up and buy those because my arms are aching. Okay. Now, each of those fabrics, I have got those fabrics for sale here as well in a minute. I'll show you that in a minute. Right, I've got the other panel. I've got the other panel. Um, now, Jenny was in the other day, wasn't she? Jenny Smith. And she made one of these. Um, she made one of these. She made a couple, actually. I don't know where the other one is. But anyway, so this is made from the panel, and then these are made from the fabrics I'm going to show you in a second, the quarter square triangles. Let me just put that back before I show you the panel. All the panels over the birthday, the, the pussycat panel and this panel. Oh, did you? Oh, apparently they had some art gallery panels that I did, didn't even get to see. They all sold out straight away. Less than 20 of these left after. We had hundreds when we first started, look. Aren't they lovely? Fruity friends, pineapple cactuses, flamingos, cocktails. Lovely. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so that was a bit of shock if you just woken up and you suddenly got my face revealed that close. Um, aren't they cute? But I've got fabrics to go with these, but I'll just let you see the bundles, um, the, 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 the um, panels, because they are flying out. Now, this is where, if you know you want it, you need to check out straight away. Oh, do you know what, as well? I know I've got, I've got all these fabrics coming up, but I've just seen it. Go to that top shot again, sorry. Look at that mega button, look at that. That's nice, isn't it? I've got, I've, got other, I've got all these fabrics to show you in a second, but I'll just do this. That's the rainbow bundle across the bottom there. That's that one you can see there, 31 pounds and 99 pence. This panel, five, yours will, cut, yours will be better cut than that, obviously. Oh, we're down to single figures already. Down to single figures already. I told you it would be. Lovely, isn't it? Okay, so that's that one. A 
Okay, now the fabrics that go with that. We have a mega bundle where you can get half a metre of every single fabric. So I'll, t I'll flick through it. Yeah, you don't get the panels in this. You don't get the panels in this. These are just the fabrics to go with. Yellow gingham, green gingham, green apples, blue floral, uh, flamingos on cream, uh, blue uh, gingham, orange gingham, chalk stripe, multicoloured floral, pineapples, cherries, apples, pink flamingos, and cactus or cacti. There's seven metres of fabric there. There's 14 different kind of fabrics, half a metre of each one. £83.49 pence for Le Mega Bundle. Nice, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Yep, ready for summer with those, aren't you? Half a metre of each. Now, we also did smaller bundles. Well, if you didn't want to buy the whole mega bundle. Look, £83, how much did you get off that one? You'll get £10 off that one. You'll get 10 And also, I think, because you can check out as much as you like during the day, I think if you buy something now and then buy something later, I think it all coagulates into one. Uh, yeah, yeah, just for just per, day, per day. Even though this is like, you can only use it once. You can only use it once, apparently. So add them all up during the day and then put it through with your, with your total at the end. Anyway, I've got smaller bundles, if you'd like a smaller bundle. Two of them I've got two metres in and two of them I've got one and a half metres in. So my first one is this one. <laughs> he said very confidently, this one. Uh, you get cherries, you get red apples, you get pink flamingos and you get cacti. Half a metre of each, £23.49. If you just want those four together, that's, they called it the apples bundle, but it's apples, cherries, cactuses or cacti and pink flamingos. Very popular when we did that bundle the other day. £23.49 for two metres of fabric. You have or you haven't? Oh, yeah, there it is. There you go. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Okay. Then my next bundle is this one. Again, it's two metres, half a metre of each. Pineapples, multi floral, chalk stripe, and the orange gingham. That's called pineapple fabric bundle, two metres, half a metre of each. Nice, isn't it? Now, the gingham is a print. The gingham is a print. It's not a woven. £23.49. There's two metres of fabric there. Got that on the still. Now, my next bundle is a metre and a half. It's not two metres, this one. It's a metre and a half. This one, you get half a metre of the blue floral. You get half a metre of the flamingos on cream and half a metre of the, they call this the blue gingham. It's a bluey green gingham. Floral and fauna, that's called. Well, that's rubbish. Flo fauna is greenery, isn't it? So floral is flowers, fauna is the greenery. So that sort of works, doesn't it? But then why, where's the... Flamingo and gingham don't really go into that today, but there you go. £17.49. And then my last bundle. This was the most popular when I did the launch the other day. It's the green one. So you get half a metre of the cactus, half a metre of the Granny Smiths, half a metre of the green gingham. Oh, single figures this bundle. Single figures of this bundle. £17.49. Now, for some reason, this one just get left out all its own. This one didn't get put in a bundle. You can get it in the mega bundle. Now, all of these fabrics, any of the that are left, are available on the website. You go to the website, you go to the shop, the top left-hand corner, and then you go to pattern fabrics, I'm presuming, and you'll find them in there. They're all available by the half metre as well. If, no, oh, no, 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 I'll take that back. 
I'll take that back because some of them sold out the other day. So all we've got left is what's in the bundles. That's it. Oh, for one, for example, the cactus is not available by the half meter. The cactus is only available in either in this bundle or the mega bundle or the first bundle with the cherries and the apples. Okay, there's less than four of these left now. Less than four of these left. So if you want it, make sure you come in and check that out. Okay? Right, okay, what have I got? Oh, yes, right. Have I got no, I thought I had something else. Oh, no, I know what I thought I was doing. I thought I was going through the fabrics singly, but I'm not. I'm not, because they're on the website. Right, let me just, I'm just going to put the mega bundle back together again while I put these to one side. So this is gorgeous. You get half a metre of each of the Fruity Friends fabrics. Fruity Friends, now 83 pounds and 49 pence. Now, if you put that, if you were to buy that and that alone, you're gonna get 10 pounds off. You put your spend and save code in, aren't you? Oh, pend, you can pend and save. There you go. There's the spend and save. So it's just a thing that's going on for the weekend until eight o'clock on Monday morning or 7.59 on Monday morning. This is the mega Fruity Friends bundle, seven meters there. So you get 14 different fabrics, half a meter on each. Now, if you want, uh, this isn't in a bundle apart from this one, the yellow gingham. You can try buying that on its own. The cactus is only available in the mega bundle and the two smaller bundles. You can't get that on its own. You want to look at the little faces on the fruit. You mean on the pineapples? Oh, and on the apples. Okay. Now, that does mean, are we not going back to the small bundles, are we? No. Good. Okay, that's fine. Hannah loves this, right? Producer Hannah loves this. Look on here, look at the apples, right? They've all got little faces. No, they've all got little faces. Some of them have got little faces. So the Granny Smiths and the Gold Delicious have got faces. The pineapples, that's unusual. Right? Does that mean some of those pineapples are ready to eat and some aren't? And then the apples, red apples, look, again, little faces. So they're just three of the mega bundle there. You do get half a meter of all these fabrics, seven meters in total for 83 pounds and 49 pence. But that does mean that you're um, available, no, you're, um, to put it in for the 75 pounds spend and save. So you'll get 10 pounds off. 10 pounds off that one. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, so I've, I, I, need to, I need to just warn you, right? I said everything, everything was on the website as um, half meters. It's not anymore, it's all sold apart from Pineapples. So that's the only one you can buy by the half meter now. That's the only one you can buy by the half meter. Right, uh, Hayley, Hayley's emailed in. She said she'd make a cushion out of it. I don't think it's our Hayley. If it was our Hayley, she'd be sorting out the air conditioning left and she wouldn't just be sitting watching the telly. You want to see it? You want to see it again? The cushion. Haley wants to see the cushion again, because we're not doing our job properly. See, so Haley has to text him from home to tell us how to do our job. So if you buy the mega bundle now, before I start, right, you do not get the panel in the mega bundle. And how? Hang on, how are we doing with that panel? I think that panel might have sold out. You see. I'll be with you in a second. I'll be with somebody on the phone, that's all. So, the Fruity Friends panel. Oh, look, that's that one, that's that one there, isn't it? Okay, single figures, single figures of the panel. Like we said, single figures of the panel. So, you, the, the panel does not come in the mega bundle. So, you can buy the panel separate. This is the panel. 
This is the panel. Oh, okay. So that panel there, there's single figures of that panel there, if you want to make the cushion or a quilt, but there's only single figures of the panel left. Uh, now, in a minute, all, this, all of the fabrics will be available by the half meter on the web, apparently. I know it's magic, isn't it? I say something on the telly and someone listens and sorts it out. It might take a few, few minutes for them to do it, so don't go there yet if you want to. So that's the panel, that's the panel. I'll put the cushion back. Sorry, Vegan. Right, there's only two left now. There's only two left. Do you want the panel? There's two left, that's it. That's it, that's it. Then after that, you won't be able to make a cushion after that. Okay. Okay, the bunting panel I'll just show you next. That, I'm gonna put that in my trolley because that'll have sold out in a minute. This one. See, single figures, single figures of the bunting panel. 5.99 for the panel. Okay, now let me just show you the bunting you can make out of it. Oh, I was gonna say, I could, what I could do is I could tie this end. Oh, I'll be, oh, one second, one second, one second. No, 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 I'll be with you. You can tell I'm used to doing the village fair, can't you? Look, isn't it cute? And it carries on, I'm over here, you see. Got the rocket, rockets coming up at 11. And Natasha had the Bargello yesterday, I think it was. Okay, all right, I'm going back now because I've got to do, it's gonna sell out, it's gonna sell out, gonna sell out. I, I, I just need to tell you something else before I go over to the side. <laughs> before I go over to the side, I need to tell you this is the most popular of the um, word play, the new word play ones. This is the most popular of all of those. The ones with the big writing and the funny words on. Plethora, I like that word. Anna likes crumpet and board. Oh, hoard! I thought she said board. What's a D-hole? Oh, sorry. Where's it gone? I can see it on the telly, but I can't. There it is, there it is, there it is. I'm sure you don't say like that. I'm sure you say de holy or something like that. What? Um, a wild Asian dog that hunts in packs. There, see? You didn't know that, did you? I was just saying endangered species underneath. Where did it say that? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, there you go. That hunts in, uh, a wild Asian dog that hunts in packs and endangered species, because the flotilla is two or more squadrons. That's that, isn't it, there? Oh, that's interesting. Very interesting, De Holy. I've never met, I've never heard that before. Right, okay, now, what do you want to do, mega bundle? No, rainbow bundle, sorry. I've got to get on to my special deal in a minute. Right. Oh, the Fruity Friends are now on the web by the half meter. Okay, go to patterned fabric on the website and go to new fabrics, it's in there. Okay, please, please, please check out on this bundle as soon as you can, because when you all check out, there's only 15 left. And it's got to go until eight o'clock tomorrow morning. It's got to be last till eight o'clock tomorrow morning, it won't. Check out your baskets. Right, okay, come with me, because I've got a special deal for you. For today, and today only. Now this is the 680. We adore the 680 machine. It'll cost you 919 pounds. Whatever day you buy it, it'll cost you 919 pounds. But today, if you buy it today, we're throwing in this as a free gift. Now you must be going, what's that, John? I've not seen that, bunny, that um, 
sheep before. Well, no, you haven't, because it's on in the next show. But if you buy this sewing machine today for £999, you, this one here, you will also get, as a free gift from us, the kit to make the big-eared bunny. I'll lie him down like that. And the kit to make two sheep. Actually, do you know what? In the bunny, there's enough to make two bunnies as well. So if you buy this sewing machine today, if, if you buy this sewing machine today for £999, you will uh, look at it two ways. Say £44.98, or you get a free gift of £44.98. But remember, we've also got the spend and save. So if you buy this, because it's over £100, you can only use the code once, remember. You can only use the code once, say, £15. Well, I suppose you're spending over £100 anyway, so you might as well just use it on that bundle. At £999, it's the Elna 680 EXO machine with free Joe Carter lamb and bunny kit worth £44.99. Plus, you'll get, if you use your spend and save, you'll get £15 off as well. The rabbit's falling over because I was doing a shot. I was, I was doing a shot for it. Now, uh, this lamb here, as I just said, Joe is demonstrating that lamb in the next hour. Now, do you know Lucy's got this machine? You know Joe's got this machine? Well, I'm going to invite Joe in because she can tell you all about that machine. Come on in, you. Good morning. Good morning. We're waiting for our family to arrive, aren't we? Are they <laughs> we nearly are. here? I don't know. I've not had a message yet. What have you been doing? I don't know. Am I all fluffy? Yeah. Um, now, you've got this machine, haven't I you? I have, yes. Why did you buy it and what? You... Because last week, right, you, you said, you went off on the Friday show and you said, oh, I've got the, I've got the day off tomorrow, I'm just, oh, the evening off tomorrow, I'm just going to spend it looking at my new machine and playing with my new machine. Also, oh, I just spit on you. Um, it's, a, it's a fantastic machine, isn't it? It is, it's really good. What do you love so much about it? Um, I don't know, with using it here regularly, it's just so, it sounds silly, but steady, it's really reliable. Um, yeah, I, 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 seeing the contrast between the machine I had and using this, and I would look forward to coming here and using these, and after a while, I thought the difference between my machine and this grew too great. So I and also, get we, get very, we get very attached to our machine. So we, like, I've yeah. still got the machine that I first started off with years ago. I would, I, and I want one of these, right? But I would never get rid of my old one. But I know when I did my, my dressmaking show a couple of weeks ago, I did all the twirls using this. And it's amazing almost how easy it made the sewing. It kind of took away all the stresses and strains, didn't it? It's just, it's just a lovely machine to it use, is. isn't it? Um, can I tell you, look at all of these right in here. All, how many of these decorative stitches have you used then? Oh, I've, so I've only had it a month uh, only now. A month. But I've used, and I've made two quilts on it already. Oh, wow. Um, I must have used three or four already. Because um, if you go to our website, you can find out all about this. Uh, and we've got all different uh, information slides about it. But look, it's, and now it's got a nine millimeter width on the foot. And now most machines are oh, stitch width. So it's not, most machines are seven. And you kind of think, well, it's only two millimeters, John. It's very big, got three alphabets. It's got all of these decorative stitches, 170 built-in stitches. It's got 10 buttonhole features. It comes with an array of different feet, you get a walking foot, your buttonhole foot, your, uh, your free arm quilting foot, not free arm quilting, what's the word I'm looking for? Free motion. Free motion quilting foot and everything like that. Have we got the slide with all the bits that come with it, Hannah? Oh, okay, we haven't got that right now. It's the Elna 680 sewing machine bundle. Now you're getting a free Joe Carter, a free Joe Carter bunny kit and a free Joe Carter lamb kit to go with it, there they are, there they are. Now you'll see, you've seen the, the, the um, bunny being made in the past, but Joe's gonna make the lamb kit today using the 680 and using the kit that you could get for free. So we're basically giving you 44 pounds and, uh, I've lost my screen. Uh, anyway, 44 pounds something for both of these, plus if you put it in your spend and save, 48, 40 pounds and 98 pence, and you get, if you put it through your spend and save, you'll get another 15 pounds off as well. It's fantastic, isn't it? Okay, and um, what else? Because uh, down the front here, down the front here, we've got the, uh, the button that um, cuts. I'm going to push it further in so we can get both see it. But uh, we've got the button that, that um, you could be the pointer, point at the button. So button. The there you go. So what's that one do? That cuts your thread 
at a short, nice short length, so you're not wasting any thread, but also long enough so that when you start to sew, your thread doesn't disappear through the needle. Well, no, I noticed that because when I was doing my toiles, I was cutting it, and when I cut it, sometimes it would go back in because I cut it too short. But when you cut that, it looks like it chops off right thing, but it never ever does that thing of, oh, your, your needle's not got the fabric, you've not got the, the thread anymore. Yes, and it sort of twists them a little bit as well, so they hold together. Um, I don't know how I have lived without that button now. I, I use oh, that all really? the time. Yes. Really? Then what's the next one, Dan? Uh, we'll just have a look at the next button. Uh, there we go. So what's this next one here, then? That's the needle up. Needle, needle up. The, now, I think that's brilliant, especially when you're doing things like quilting and toy making, you've got to pivot around corners yeah. and everything like that. So that one's fantastic. Then what's the bullseye one, the next one underneath that? That stitches a little knot. It secures your thread at the start. So that's like you don't have to reverse, go backwards and forwards. You could just do a little, a little knot. Yeah. And then uh, the next one down is the reverse button, obviously. Then okay. the next one down is if you don't want to use a foot pedal, you can use your start stop button there. So if you don't want to use a pedal, yes, you can control it. You can control it, control it from there, which I think is fantastic, isn't it? Um, uh, now, it's all digital. It's all digital. Sorry, there's lots going on. Now, it's all digital here. So you all, it's not, this one's not plugged in, but when, when Jo's using it in the next hour, you'll be able to see how she can change the stitches, change the stitch length and everything like that here. You've got... Now, if you press the C button, that cancels everything and takes it back to uh, factory settings. There's also this one. If you press that one there, that takes you just back to your straight stitch and everything. It's got lots of shortcuts on it as well. Um, and then all the, st the digital, st uh, the decorative stitches are all in different modes. So you just have to look up which one you're going to. Um, there's so many other things. There's 91 needle positions. It comes with a great big table, a huge table it comes with as well that you can attach to it. It comes with a semi-stiff um, cover, a lovely bright red cover to keep it lovely. And have you used to put that cover on in your house? Not a chance to. <laughs> it's not needed the cover on it yet. <laughs> <laughs> and as you say, you've used it for your quilting and your toy making and well everything that you've been doing recently, haven't you? Yes, I've never been a fan of machine binding. I always like to hand sew it, but I've, it puts binding on really nicely as well. It's sort of the, it just feels like a really sturdy machine and the weight of the walking foot, it really holds it in place. Yeah. And yes, it's really And you get the walking like foot, the walking foot is included. There are so many feet included in the whole thing. Oh, here you go. Here's a picture of everything that you get with this one. The, the table's not there, obviously, but the walking foot is, the spool, the two feet. Now, you see the thing on the right-hand side? That's brilliant as well because um, that's something you can plug into the front of the machine. So if you're doing a great big heavy quilt and you can't let go of the quilt to lift the presser foot up, that is a, 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 a gadget where you can lift the presser foot up using your knee. And then look at all the feet, the bobbins, the little screwdrivers, the quick unpick. Everything you need, the, the, the one, I was going to point to it then, but of course it's a still picture and you won't see my finger. Um, the uh, um, buttonhole, the buttonhole is brilliant, isn't it? Where you it's, just put, put the button in. <laughs> it's my favourite gadget. <laughs> How many buttonholes have you done there? Quite a few. Yeah. So we're going to see all Joe Carter toys now. We're going to have a buttonhole on them or something all like that. All of them. Um, also, Elna, if you... Um, also, 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 uh, if you... Um, Buy this, right? Uh, it's come straight from Elna. It's still included in your two pound ninety-five post and packaging as well. So, uh, if you can, so if you buy this bundle today, these will be sent from us, and this will be sent, and this will be sent from Elna direct. So don't worry if your first parcel arrives and it's just the sewing machine and not the toys, because they will they will come. We just send them in two different sections. Uh, oh, hang on. There it is. There you go. Look. So you've got little sections here to store some of your feet. All in there. And then it also has the gubbins box here. Oh, can I open that there? There you go. Oh, somebody's taken all my... Oh, do you know what? <laughs> because when I said we're doing a sewing machine, I said to Hayley, can you make sure all the feet are all together? All the feet, Wendy, are in a plastic um, container. Is that it there? That's it there. Let me just get it out. You don't get yours like this. Hang on, I'll just get it here. So you get all of this. It comes with a fantastic manual as well. But you get all of the feet, the bobbin, everything you've just seen on that picture is all in here. Um, the, the, what, what's that one called? Is that the... Um, free motion. Free motion. It comes to three different... It comes to three different... All these things. Now, we sell all these things separately and they all add up. But you know what? You get all, you get all of it with the machine. 
for £999. Fantastic, isn't it? And the book, like I say, there's a tw uh, if you can always ring Elna, and they're brilliant, because I had to ring them about something for another customer the other day. And I rang up and I said, well, I just need to ask a question about this. And the lady said, oh, um, I don't know that, but I'll put you through to Sandra, I think her name was. And, and it was all sorted. They're absolutely brilliant. A bit like our call centre. They go over and beyond. So if ever you need to ask them anything, even though in the, in the manual, if you want to do a, a certain stitch, it tells you where to set everything, like the tension, the, the, the stitch length and everything like that, which foot to use and everything like that. It's absolutely fantastic for £999. Lucy also says that she sews at night time um, after her children have gone to bed and the machine she had would keep them awake at night time, where she uses this one yes. and it's, it's much, much quieter. Same. Yes, because I sew in the room next to my son's bedroom. And oh, it... Poor thing, the hours you spend <laughs> at the sewing machine. I think it's sort of, I think he quite likes this. It's just got a nice steady... Oh, so it's actually good for him because it's that one of those sounds, nice isn't it? That relaxing and everything. Um, right, now remember, if you buy this for 9 99 you do get this. Now, after the break, Joe is going to be showing us how to make the lovely little um, lamb. But it comes in two. Well, it comes in one colourway, but with different coloured ears. You've got the or, the pumpkin ears or the green ears there. So Joe will be doing that straight after the break. Make sure you uh, ring the call centre and speak to her about this. Any questions you've got, they'll answer you. Today and today only is that special bundle. Till eight o'clock tomorrow morning, you can save forty-four pounds. Well, you'll save more than forty-four at that because you'll get that, and you can put your spend and save in as well. Okay, we're going to go for a break. Joe will be back. Straight, you better get ready. There's nothing no. on the desk. Um, Joe will be back with her lamb in three minutes from now. Follow us on Pinterest, search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to discover sewing, work, we create and love. We have an amazing offer for you this weekend. Only available on Saturday the 10th and Sunday the 11th of February. If you shop with us and spend £50 or more, you'll save up to £15. You can buy anything from our website or on the TV shows. And the more you spend, the more you'll save. If you spend £50 or more, you'll get £5 off with code SAVE5. Or if you spend £75, you can use SAVE10 to get £10 off. Best of all, if your order comes to £100, you can save £15 with code SAVE15. The offer starts on Saturday the 10th of February and runs until 8am on Monday the 12th of February. You can only use the code once, but with our daily £2.95 postage and packaging, you can add to your basket all day to boost your savings. So shop from our TV shows or direct from our website at sewingquarter.com this weekend and enjoy our special spend and save discount. For full terms and conditions, see sewingquarter.com. Simply Sewing is a magazine for dressmakers and home sewists who are passionate about fabrics and love to sew with stylish patterns. Each issue is packed with technical know-how, templates and easy to follow instructions to sew yourself quick wardrobe updates, accessories, plushy toys, gifts, bags and more. Plus, each issue comes with a free dress pattern from our expanding trend-led collection. We're proudly flying the flag for contemporary sewing with stylish patterns and beautiful photography to inspire sewists across the globe at every level. Did you know there are multiple ways you can contact us even if it's just to ask a question? Our friendly team are always on standby. You can call our customer service team at 0800 112 4433, email us at help at sewingquarter.com, visit our Facebook page, Follow us on Instagram. Follow us on Twitter at Sewing Quarter and even message us through our website and our presenters will answer your questions live on air. Join us on Monday the 12th of February for a magical morning with infamous toy creator Jo Carter as she shares her brilliant new toy with us the cutest fire-breathing dragon you'll ever see. First seen in Simply Sewing magazine, Joe Carter's soft dragon toy is available in two colours, flame red and monster green. The kit comes with everything you need to make a duo of dragons, including soft toy filling and fleecy fabric. There's even black eyes and embroidery thread included, so you can give the cheeky creature some character. So join us on Monday the 12th of February at 10am for a fiesta of dragons. Only on Sewing Quarter, 
Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. We love Joe Carter toys, don't we? And this is, look at this little lamb. It's so cute. It, there's just something about uh, all the faces, aren't there? Just fantastic, fantastic faces. Now, before I go on about this, I need to tell you about today's spend and save. It's, it's all weekend, actually. It's all weekend up until 7.59. I don't know why I was looking up there. There's no information up there. 7.59, yes, thank you, 7.59 on Monday morning, right? Um, it finishes, it finishes, right? So it's this spend and save. I'll show you on the whole uh, screen there. So what it is, if you spend 50 pounds, when you check out, now you can only use it once, so um, do it wisely, but it'll go over your whole, uh, the whole day, I would imagine. But you put save five in to get 50, five pounds off 50 pounds. Put the save 10 in to get 10 pounds off 75 pounds. Or if you buy a sewing machine, you spend over 100 pounds, you get 15 pounds off by putting the code save 15 in. Now, normally, these spend and saves are either just for things you've seen on the telly or they're for just things you see on the website and they don't normally include electrical goods or anything like that. This includes everything except gift vouchers. You can't buy gift vouchers. But anything else, terms and conditions are all on the website. So please, please, please go there to have a good look. Right, now, let's get back to little lamb. We'll have to think of names, won't we, for the little lambs because in your bundle, Gary, Oh, Larry, I thought you said Gary. I was going to say, Gary the lamb doesn't really fit, does it? Um, he's so cute, isn't he? Now, is it, uh, look. Right, okay, let me put him to one side and I'll show you the bundle that you get, right? So if in the bundle, in the bundle, you get half a metre of pumpkin, which is the one that Joe's going to make on the show. You get half a metre of the, is it lime? Or is it pistachio? Anyway, you, you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about it, because there you get them both. You get the embroidery thread, you get the pack of eyes, you get the thread thread, you get this lovely, gorgeous, like, fleecy fabric here, which Joe will talk to you about in a minute. And then you also get this kind of creamy, uh, now it's non-pilling fleece, isn't it, H H Hannah? Okay. Yeah, the bumpy one's brand new. Uh, this one we've had before, but this is a non pill Oh, you also get, you also get, you also get this. You also get that as well. Now you can make two of them. You can make two in there. You can make two in there so that you can have, but look, hang on, hang on a minute. So you only use the spot for the inside of the ear fits and fits hoofs, right? Oh yeah, look on here, I'll show you on here, right? So you only use the green for its hoofs. Now this is a different fabric. This is one Joe made for the magazine thing. You only use the green and the pumpkin for the hoofs and the insides of the ears. So you can have loads of that left over. Do you know what? Those ones that you made for the magazine look angry. They look like they're going to... If you went in a field with them, you, they'd go for you, wouldn't they? Oh, oh, oh I'm going to buy one of these for Lucy, because Lucy's... Ter she's terrified of sheep. She's terrified of sheep. OK, now, also, while Joe just gets ready, I'll just show you something else we've got this hour. We're not going to be making this in this hour. Of oh, the lamb. Oh, OK, I'll just go back to the lamb a second. Sorry. Um, please check out. We haven't even started the demonstration, right? We've got lots. We've got hundreds of them, but a third of the stock's gone already. A <laughs> uh, little bit worried about it, because I've got nothing else to sell you once they've all gone. So, Joe, hope you've got your song and dance routine ready. OK, but also, what we've also got in the air, which Joe wasn't going to be demonstrating, <laughs> but she may have to deconstruct this one and make it again is the uh, Big Eared Bunny. Now, I've only got it in the one colourway today, which is the yellow. Right, now, it was demoed on the 1st of February. On the 1st of February, you saw it being demoed. So what you get in this bundle, he's cute, isn't he? Now, there's enough to make two of him, isn't there, in the kit? There's enough to make two of him in the kit. So, only got him in this yellow colourway today. Uh, so, uh, you get half a metre of the yellow fabric, floral, half a metre of the biscuity colour. You get the embroidery thread, 
you get the sewing thread, you get the instructions. Now with him, you also get, and I have to ask Joe about this, you also get stuffing and you get wadding. But Joe didn't use wadding in him, but you get it anyway. I thought, when, when Hannah and I were prepping before Joe arrived this morning, she said, oh, there's wadding, there's wadding. I was like, well, I don't know where she's used wadding. And what did you say? In the ears. And I was like, you could put it in the ears if you wanted to. Yeah, you could put it in the ears if you wanted to. But you've got what if you stash within it, 1999. And you, oh, you can make two. You can make two out of that. So that, that, that makes them a tenner each. It's cute, isn't it? OK. That's limited, but that's just, I just wanted you to, are you ready for me? Oh, <laughs> yeah, you might as well come over, she says. Right, I'll bring him with me. Sorry, yes, the wadding. I, th I thought you meant the lamb, and I was thinking, oh, I didn't use wadding in the lamb. No, the ears are quilted on the bunny. So oh, have... thank you. Sorry, Hannah. <laughs> Did you do the show, Hannah? Well, I'm sorry, that's good. I'm just sorry, but... Feel those ears? Yeah, but the... I'm, I'm, not, I'm not suggesting they're very, very squidgy. <laughs> but you did put some wadding in there, yes. did you? Yes. Okay, and I just thought it stops you. So take that back. Hannah was right for a change. OK, over half the lambs have gone already. It's only seven minutes past. Oh, yeah, lamb chop, because that was what's name, wasn't it? That was um, Sherry, Sherry, not Sherry Hushin. She's loose women, isn't she? Sherry, with all the, the lipstick and the eyes, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. You're not old enough to remember. That was lamb chop, wasn't it? It was. It was a sock, Hannah. Lamb chop was a sock, right? And she put... I haven't got a sock here, obviously, to show you. Um, and, and she, she made it... She did this, and she was like, Hello, lamb chop. And he, Hello. No, no, it was quite disturbing, because both she and the lamb had these really, really long eyelashes before they were, they were fashionable, like that. What was she called? I'm sure she called Shirley something. Sherry. Know. Sherry something. Anyway, if you remember, let me know, let me know. Um, right, where are we starting? I'll start, first of all, by talking about this fabric. OK. It's beautiful and it's so super soft. This is the, bod this is the um, fleecy fabric. Oh, not the fleecy fabric. This, this fabric here, isn't it? And it's perfect for the body. Yes. But it is quite tricky to sew with. Oh, OK. In what way? Because the reverse is practically the same as the front side. Okay, there's an awful. Let me just get. Let me just get it right. Let me just get it. It's it's going to be look because you get all of this because you don't get half a meter. But look how wide it is, right? Oh, there's a lot of that fabric, isn't there? There is. So you can practice. There's enough. Yeah. What I'm saying is, there's enough to cut bits out and practice beforehand, there isn't are. there? Yeah. Okay. I'll just put it back then. Is he happy sitting there? Not and like the one on the... On, oh, I'll tell you what, I've forgotten. Not about like the one on the instructions. It looks like he butt you as you went into the um, field. Right, OK. So where do we start, then? And it's like fleece in that if you pull the edge along the, le on, along the width and it will roll right. to the wrong side. So I know... Do it again. Is... We didn't see that. We didn't see that. So if I pull along there... It will... So you're not along the selvage, along the cut edge. Along the cut edge. And you just pull it. And it will roll. So, th so that means... To the, the reverse, wrong side or to, to the right yes, side? Yes, to the wrong side. Okay, so you know the right side. So this is the right side. Oh, I've still, oh, Sherry Lewis, thank you. Sherry Lewis, Joanne in Cambridgeshire, thank you for that. Yeah. Uh, Joan says, hi, John, it's Sherry Lewis with Lamb Chop. Joan from Merthyr Tidville, Bonne da, um, So because it's the same on the reverse, it's even quite tricky to mark it out. Oh, okay. So... You need to really... How can you remember? Well, I used a dry pen. So I knew that you might still see traces. I used a dry pen that wouldn't smudge. The okay. wouldn't smudge, but I needed to a see... A dry pen? I've never heard of a dry pen before. Um, so have I got you've got... You're all dishevelled, don't you? Um, <laughs> if you, uh, if you used it the wrong way, would it be the, would it be the um, end of the world? No. Oh, no, it's just the tufts go in a different direction. That's all it is, isn't it? They kind of, they look like they're going that way, and that looks like it's going that way. But it wouldn't be the end of the world if you used the wrong side. OK, there's less than 20 left, Joe. If you could just make it quickly. <laughs> Morning. Okay. Waited to go to work so I could buy my lambs. Off to look after my patients now. <gasps> Jill. 
Jill. <laughs> you see, now this is Jill. We've got two Jills from West Yorkshire. We've got lovely Jill from West Yorkshire, which I think this one is. But then we also have Jill from West Yorkshire, who's the one that told me to shut up. Do you remember that one? <laughs> Anyway, I'm sure she's lovely. I'm sure she's lovely as well. But she did email in on the birthday. Oh, everyone was sending all these lovely messages, all these birthday messages. And she went and going, I can't believe that a year ago you'd have said, I, I'd have told you that I shouted at my telly every single day for a year telling John Scott to shut up. <laughs> anyway, it hasn't affected me. It's fine. Not taking it to heart. No. Right, go on then. Um, so yeah. I've kept this fabric. Because it's that bit tricky to sew with, um, to just the body, the tail and the head, you can use it on the back of the ears, but actually for these, I use the fleece because the fleece is a little bit easier to work with. On the back of the ears? On the back of the ears. Whereas in the original pattern, it would say to use the fluffy. Oh, okay. These fabric. are the back of the ears here. There you go. So, so let's just go through it. So you've got, the, you've got the bobbly fabric on the back of the head, on the back of the body and on the tail. Well done, Mike. And then on the front, you've just got it on his front there. And then the rest of him is made of the non-pill fleece. The face is the fleece. The legs are the fleece. So you've just got that squidgy bit in the body there. I mean, the thing is, you've got enough of the fabric. If you wanted to, you could make the whole lot out of that. But it's going to be quite, dif not difficult, but tricky. You, need, you need to get used to it. OK, we're sold out. OK. Uh, people who've got it in their baskets, not all of you are going to get it. More people have got it in their baskets. So if you definitely want it, check out now. Right, OK. OK, so I'll start with an ear. So I've used the fleece on the back of the ear. And the ear, I've got a few of them here. Let's yes. check. The front of the ear is a different shape to the back. But this curve here is exactly the same size, seam allowance wise, yeah. as that one there. And I find it easiest with the cotton fabric on top. Use a slightly heavier needle. I was going to say, so you use a normal foot. Normal foot. And with this, I was put it on 0 0.6 and the needle moves. So I've got a quarter inch, six mil to the edge of the foot. Right, OK, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we've, got, you, we've got machine needles on the website if you need to order yourself. If you've ordered that, you might as well get some needles. Well, if you, but when you buy packs of needles, it normally has 10s, 12s, 14s. So when you say a heavier needle, have you done a 14 or a 16? Or do you do big numbers? 14, or 14. sometimes I use a jeans needle. It's not so much, well, it's not at all going through layers like this. This is fine. It's when you're sewing the ears in or the limbs, yes. you need, because you're going through a few layers then of fleece. Oh, okay. Rachel, morning, John and Joe. Order my lamb. Defo, defo get the zoo of Joe's animals. Yeah, I know. It's called menagerie. Zoo. Zoo, Rachel. And I'm using a contrast thread just so later on when I'm using the sort of thicker fur furrier fabric you'll see where the stitches are it was lovely Jill that just mentioned she I wouldn't tell you to shut up John and by the way I don't have to be at work till 10 so just no one's died or anything <laughs> like that do you know what I was really shocked because I had to go to have a scan on my feet you know they, I went to see because I've got chap nerves in my feet I hate getting old um so the, the, the podiatrist sent me off for a scan and the scan came through for a Sunday and I rang and I was like oh I think you made a mistake you've booked me in for to, to see a consultant on a Sunday. Sunday. And they were like, yeah. And I was really shocked that you go to the hospital and the consultant, I, I don't know why, because my brother's consultant, he's a surgeon, but he works at weekends and things like that because I thought he's just saving people's lives. I didn't think they'd just look at my poorly feet at the weekend, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I wouldn't have thought. Well, but they were. Cheryl's messaging, love the lamb. I named my real lambs. No, <laughs> no, I'm not reading this message out. I named my real lambs, so she's got real live lambs, Minty, <laughs> Saucy, and Polo. Also a mint. Well, it's also a mint, but you don't say, you don't say oh, Sunday lunch, you're having roast lamb and polo mints, do you? <laughs> I, don't, I don't eat meat, so I don't have any of them. Oh, Minty from EastEnders. Uh. Got that. Hannah only says that because she's in love with Minty from EastEnders. Because he's in something else now, isn't he? Like, oh, he's in Call the Mint. Call the yes. Which is Hannah's favourite ever programme. I, yeah. Anyway. Uh, one day we'll get through it without shedding a single tear. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> it's heartbreaking every week. Or maybe just... It is. OK. I'll, I've never watched one episode, I have to say. Oh, right. No, because no, really... I'll get hooked. If I watch one, I'll have to get them all on back pay or whatever you call it. I haven't got Netflix. Yeah. Anyway, carry on. OK, so I've stitched around that curve yeah. and then just clipped 
V-shaped notches around the curve. And with the fleece, when you're sewing, try and make sure you can see the edge of the fleece underneath the cotton fabric because it, it does have a tendency to slip away. I was going to say, it's because you, you're sewing to... Oh, no, that's the fleece, not the... Not the um... This is, yeah. Yeah. What would you call this then? Because that's fleece, the body's fleece. What would you call that? Dimple plush. Dimple maybe? plush. Listen, I called the chiffon and the mermaid, twinkle chiffon. There's been so many people like, what on earth John call it twinkle chiffon? I think it's such a pretty name, I know. That's what they call it in Borovix when you go shopping in Borovix. It will always be twinkle chiffon yes, for exactly. me now. Yes, exactly. We're going to get it in, like, by the half metre. Oh, I Yeah. So you have to in, in, sort of design more twinkly. OK. That, that'll be this week's hmm? job. I'll think of twinkly toys. Yes. And the ears are not symmetrical. And the fold, this one's got a slightly more pronounced curve at the bottom. And the oh, the actual shape... Well, hang on, so one ear is different to the other? Yes. So this... So when you're cutting them out in the pattern, does it say you one ear, need to two flip. ear? Oh, oh, OK, hang on. They're both the same size, but one's reverse, the other, do you mean? Or they're two different shapes? The back ear and the front ear are two yes. different shapes. No, I Sorry, thought you meant your confusing. right ear was a different shape to your <laughs> no, no, left no. ear. That's, I was thinking, that's clever. <laughs> OK, so the, the back ear is different to the front ear, like it normally is. Hello, John and Joe. I've got my lamb and bought the machine needles. You answered the question just as I was typing. Fantastic show, as always, from Fiona in North Yorkshire. Thank you, Fiona, my love. Morning. Um, this edge here yes. is, looks odd, but actually, when you put the fold in, it accommodates that fold. Yeah, so it's and like it gives the bottom a, of the, the dart, really. It gives a it? nice straight edge then. OK. So I've put the fold in the ear, and it's the opposite. It's a mirror image to that one I've already made. Yes. And I'll just So now, it. but the fold goes down on both of them, even though it's a mirror image ear-wise, the fold goes down. It does. Yeah. Now, we might have an extra guest on in the last hour, mightn't we? <laughs> it depends if they make it. Are they getting a train? <laughs> They're getting a train, yeah. aren't they? Joe's uh, two, two boys, well, three boys, two yeah. sons and a husband are on their way up. Um, and what's he called, the little one? Rowan. Rowan thinks he's coming on, well, he is going to come on telly later. <laughs> if they get here in time. This is his big break. I think. Oh. So the, the ears are done. Yep. And then I'll do the limbs and then I'll okay. assemble the rest of the body. Does that make sense or should I do the face first? Which, in real life, what did you do in real I'd life? I'd do the legs first and have them all ready to Do go. the limbs next then. That's okay. what I did when I made mine. Did you? <laughs> this is the leg, it's just a rectangle. Oh, that was a difficult pattern piece then. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> and the arm is pointed at the top because it's, when it folds over, it's so that the arms. Oh, it's got, so, so it's got like a raglan sleeve top. Yes. Yeah. And they've both got the same hoof piece. Oh, yes, because the hoofs, even if they're on the f any foot, aren't they? Because in real life, they're what, what, like that, don't they? Not like this. Yes. OK. I think I called it a hand or a foot in the pattern. And they just go straight across the bottom here. I'll do, I'll do the arm. OK. Oh, is that, oh, Wendy's taken away that other machine. I could have sewn this one for you if the other machine was out. But they're nice and easy. We've had to take the graphics out because there's way, 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 way too many people got it in their baskets. Oh, now, now this, is, this is a bit excessive, but I'm going to say it, but I'm not, I'm not adding any undue pressure whatsoever. All the lambs are sold out if you want to buy the lamb on its own, right? But if you buy the sewing machine, you get the two, the bunny and the lamb uh, for £999. <laughs> but you get the sewing machine as well. You do get the sewing machine as well. Um, Wendy, that one will need a foot putting on it before we come back over to the... Ask somebody from the office to help you if you don't know. <laughs> Sorry. How did you know that he said that? Said Vegan what? just said to me, oh, could you put the flat down? Before I moved, you were already putting it down. You're getting used to this telly game now, aren't you? Almost. There we go. Are you going to the stitching, knitting and stitching show? I am. Which day are you there, then? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, I think. Oh, brilliant. Sorry, I'll be there at the tissue. Knitting and Stitching Show, which is at Olympia, on the weekend of March the 3rd. It's that weekend, beginning of March, isn't it? Yes. I'm going to be there on Saturday. Natasha's going to be there on Friday. You're going to be there for Thursday, Friday and Saturday. I am. Is it open, is it open on the Sunday as well? It is. Oh, so no, nobody's there on the Sunday. <laughs> no one's there on the Sunday. Uh, uh, Hannah's going to be there on the Saturday as well, but not officially, just visiting. Trying to get free coffees, yeah. <laughs> OK. 
So that's once the hoof, the hand or foot is added onto the bottom of the leg and the arm, because right. we need two more of them for a full yes, set. Yes, obviously. Folds over. And then so down the side and around the bottom of the hoof. Okay, any I find little it, tricks? I find it easiest if, because this fabric's so much thicker, if it fold, is folded towards So the seam goes into the, the hoof. hoof, yeah. Yeah. Hoof. And if you, hoof, hoof. How do you, now how do you say it at home? Do you say hoof or do you say hoof? I say but it's like tooth and tooth, isn't it? And if you want them definitely to line up, just yeah. pop a pin in where that seam is. Okay. I wouldn't normally. No. <laughs> Good morning, John and Joe. I am addicted to Joe's patterns and have now ordered my lamb. Thank you for the lovely creations, Joe. That's Alison in Cheshire. Oh, thank you. She must live near you. You're near Cheshire. Aren't you? I am. I'm in Cheshire. You are in Cheshire. Yeah. Sounds much posher than it is, though. I'm from Cheshire. That's where I'm from originally. Though I'm from Chester. Well, I was born in Birkenhead, but I was, we were in a taxi going on the way to Chester. <laughs> Oh, another Wendy. OK, uh, Wendy says, hello, I've got my lambs. Hopefully I'll be able to do them as I've never made a toy. Oh, OK, no, OK, no, no, I understand it. There's no, I understand it now. Uh, consultant work at weekends is when the lists are too long during the week. So that's why I was seen on a Sunday, because if they've got excess people from the week, then they'll work on the Sunday. So Wendy, did you work in hospital as well then? My um, Gerardine would have known that. I've known from Gerardine for a few days. Hope she's all right. Anyway, she's busy making her daughter's wedding paraphernalia. Wow. Okay, so that's clip. a leg, an and arm. Clip at this corner. So I'll just clip across, just so that fabric can fit inside that point. Yep. And also clip in between there, like that, just yep. so that can move. And then turn it the right way out and stuff. Yeah. Now, the eyes on this, I know I'm jumping ahead to the eyes, but they do say on the packet, don't give them to a child under the age of three. If you were, I mean, if you wanted to, you could embroider eyes onto it. Could. If you're going to give it to a smaller child. I always say this because, because, I mean, the eyes are gorgeous. I love the eyes as they are. But if you are going to give it to a little child that's going to put it in their mouth all the time, it might be easier to do uh, embroidery. Because uh, you get embroidery thread in, in the kit and everything. And also, actually, I've not checked whether this, Oh. Fabric is safe for under threes because sometimes with shedding, if the fabric sheds a little bit, oh. then it's not recommended. Hannah will look young... that up for us. Not for very young ones. Yes. Sorry, Hannah. Have I... There we go. So that's a leg then. Pop some filling in. Don't have it too full because they're... Well, it's quite soft and squidgy, the fleece anyway, so it doesn't need much. And then face the tops closed. Rachel, my love, just ring the call centre. They'll sort it out for you. Rachel's emailed in with something she didn't do right when she checked out. If you ring the call centre, if it can be done, they'll sort it out for you, don't worry. And Hillary. And another Hillary. You've all done the same thing, so don't worry, you're all not in the same boat. Just ring the call centre and they'll help you sort it out. It's fine. So that's just going through two layers. You're only going through two layers of fleece there, aren't you? Yes. I mean, the seam allowance, you've got yeah. a little bit of four, but so just take it oh, a yes, bit yes, slowly. Yes. So there we go. We've got two arms and two legs. Two legs, OK. And the ears are done, so I'll go on to the face. Yes. Cause, oh, no, because we're still on fleece on face, aren't we? We, still haven't, on got, fleece. we haven't got to um, the fleece at the pit, what do you call it? Dimple plush. Dimple plush yet. We're still on fleece. Make sure when you cut out the middle face piece that you transfer the marks for the eyes. OK. I know, they're not very... I don't know they're far showing. apart, but it's because that's not the edge of the face, is it? No. That looks like my friend Nigel. His eyes are that far apart. <laughs> anyway. OK, so I'm going to stitch from the nose here along... Stitch either side face piece on. So, so on here? I'm going to stitch one side on. And I'll start with... It's this seam here, you see. That's why the eyes look there a bit far across the face, because it's actually a very, quite a high... Because normally you have a seam, like, on the cheek, don't you, on one of your animals, but it's quite a high... I suppose it's because the shape of the face, isn't it? Just that the seam going across there. OK? And also, can I just check the pattern oh, yes. to see if I've popped... Check the pattern, yeah. Popped a, because this piece here, it's difficult to know which way up it goes. So it's a good idea when you cut this out, maybe just take a little notch out of it and just mark. So I've done that so that I know this is the top edge 
that joins to here. Right. This is the right way up. So it's along this edge, just make a little mark so that you don't, because once they're cut out, often you think, well, which way up? And this one's slightly off grain, this one as well. Does that matter in the, in the fleece? It doesn't matter an awful lot, no. no. You wouldn't but see. if you were using a fabric fabric, if you make, use the pattern in months to come and use it to a different fabric, just remember the grain on that one's slightly off. Yes. Yeah. All the arrows on Joe's um, patterns, that's the, the straight of grain. Okay. So I've put a little mark on the top edge so I know I'm yeah. joining the right bit. And I like to have the middle face on top each time and to sew from the nose up on, along this side and then down towards the nose for the other side. Okay. The uh, dimple fabric, there's nothing on the manufacturer's website. So um, Hannah is going to call our buying team. Oh, it's Saturday. It's not, it's not Sunday, is it? Saturday, they'll be up. And uh, we'll, we'll find out, we'll try and find out for you. We'll try and find, I hadn't even thought of that. I wouldn't even, it wouldn't even cross my mind to whether it, if it sheds, if it's not very good for a child or not. It's usually longer yes. um, pile fabrics, but I know that was a consideration we always used to have to make. So that's one side on. Okay. And then for this side, I'm going to keep the middle face on top again. And I want to sew from this edge down here, but I want to stop at this line of stitching. I don't want to cross it because then you can get a little bit of puckering around okay. the nose when it's finished. Well, and it, then seems, it seems totally doable so far. It I'm is. With, I'm with you so far. It is very doable. And there's no dart in the face. I know no. some people are not very keen on darts. But fleece is great because it, it's all soft edges and soft lines once yeah. it's stuffed. I think Hannah's sending an angry message on her machine. She's blaming the keyboard. Okay. But I thought they brought you a special one. OK. That's by Hannah, a special keyboard. And then Hayley spilled a drink all over it, so she had to go back to the old people. <laughs> well, you get all the ins and outs, don't you, on this show? OK, so that's the front of the face. So I've finished the stitching right on at the first line. Oh, hang on, just coming in there. Right, OK. Oh, hang on, just lift there. There you go. go. That's it, that's it, that's it. Right. And I took quite a scant seam allowance there, and actually I have to go over that and just make it slightly bigger. So that's the face. And then I'm going to move on to the dimple plush. Now, you're sewing with a darker thread. That's not the thread you get in the kit, No, no, it? it's just so it shows up, especially with this. OK, you're the only one of the experts who read your email, then. <laughs> OK. These are the side face pieces that go around the face. Like the balaclava. Yes. So this bit here. Oh. Yeah. This little bit here. So there must be a seam. Oh, actually, there's a seam where the ears have gone in, isn't there? So it's just the fringe, almost, that you're doing now. Yes. OK. So I'm going to sew these together along this top edge. OK, now them. any tips on sewing this now, dimple? I would recommend, if you're not used to this sort of thing, I would tack this, actually, with a, a nice bright coloured thread so you can see it, just so you know, because it's, when you're sewing, it's easy to lose sight of the edge of the fabric oh, okay. because it gets obscured, and it's a good idea sometimes just give them a little yes. shake. So you tack it on the line that you're going to sew, like old-fashioned tacking? Yes. Yeah. And actually, if you use a cream thread, it, you probably wouldn't need to take them out afterwards. Just as well, Hannah's not down here. Her asthma would be going crazy at the moment. It is quite a fluffy fabric. And do you have to really feed it through under the foot? Because it, it also looks like that fabric that could almost just all... You do need to sort of push it around a little bit. I've, I'm using the edge of the foot for my seam allowance, but then you can see there's a lot of... Yes. Fluff that sort of protrudes past it, so that's why it's difficult to see and yes. know that you're taking a good seam allowance. And then once the seam is sewn, just open it up and make sure yeah, there's oh, definitely yeah. a good seam allowance all the way along. And you don't iron any of this, do you? No. And the good thing about this is you don't need to be perfectly precise because you don't see the seams, it hides. Well, no, well. I couldn't see that seam on, on the one here with the way the ears went in. And if you take that bit more, it doesn't matter because it stretches. Yeah. And so there is, it does have things that make it easier as oh, well. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's just, I suppose, if you're a dressmaker or a quilter, you're not going to be used to using fabric like that. It's just a new experience, really, isn't it, to use the dimple fabric? Because you, no, you wouldn't ever use that in quilting, would you? No. 
And the, the, the difficult thing is, it's just seeing the edge, just so that you have the right seam allowance. Yeah. And this again, I mean, take it slowly. I sort of have to whiz these up quite quickly. Um, so it wouldn't tack. But so you're now doing the, the seam that's between the face and the fringe now? Yes, I'm going yeah. to join the face. Oh, yes, yes, yes. And there's a marker at the top of the face so that I know that seam needs to line up with that so that the face is on straight. Okay, brilliant. But they both have got stretch, so if you think, oh, it's not quite going to reach. Give it a but one's pull. got different stretch to the other, hasn't it? It's one it's more stretch. It's fairly similar, oh, okay. actually. It's not too bad. Okay. Um, oh, oh, an email, a nice email. Oh, text, text message coming through. Who's it from? No, I've still got Wendy's on my screen. Hello again, John and Joe. Oh, I forgot to mention my husband, Paul, who's also watching Sand Quarter every morning with me. We've had a lot of fun that on our... If you go to... We've got a new uh, Facebook page. Right? It's called Sand Quarter Fans. Do go along and have a, a quick look. Um, lots of people, because the other day, Jamie and Rachel... Rachel was in the kitchen making a wreath, and he came in and he went, while Rachel finishes the wreath, I'm just going to take you through the bundles and did a whole <laughs> impression of me. And then there was suddenly this great big... I go, oh, my husband does that as well. Oh, yeah, my husband will only watch John. Oh, my husband does that as well. So we're going to have a competition of best John impression by a husband. Uh, Lorraine, parcels arrived with Joe's mermaid along with the tail, just waiting for the elephant, excited. Parcel on the way. Uh, uh, another parcel's on the way. That's crazy, Lorraine. Um, oh, a question for Joe from a customer. It's on here. Joe. Having boys yourself, would an eight-year-old like the rocket quilt? Love the show, housework, no time now. That's yeah. from customer. I've got a name of that customer. Well, my boys both asked, um, was it, are you bringing that back? Oh. <laughs> no. So, but yes, they both wanted it. Is it, so hang, hang on, how big, how big, we'll, we'll come to this, this is at, 11, this is at the 11 o'clock show. That's bigger than a single bed, isn't it? They'll go over the top of a single bed. It and is. Hang you get down. a nice drape on either side. You sort of get the rockets in the centre, but nice. The drape. Brilliant. That's uh, that's coming up. That's coming up in the eleven o'clock hour. That'd be brilliant because it's the kit to make the whole of the. Fra Was the fabric to make the back as well? Hang on. Just the. Just the front. Just the front. Just the front and the binding. Yeah. Okay. There we go. And I'll just check. I've definitely got a decent seam allowance all the way around. A little bit more is fine. Yeah. So that's the face on. And then I'm going to base the ears on. Okay. And with the fluff, it's easy to lose the marks, actually, for where the ears should go. I'm fairly sure one goes there and one goes here. Now, how do you know which ear goes on which side? Have a look at it. The front of the ears go against the right side of the face, and then just oath them out. Oh, okay. They look right. Yeah. Looks like a goat, like that. See, that way. Oh, it'd look a bit sort of surprised. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> it, so it doesn't matter if you put the, the other wrong way up, because it looks like it's going, what's that noise? <laughs> oh. Okay. It's a shame they've all sold out. I was going to make one for Lucy. Just leave one in a trolley. <gasps> yes. <laughs> Or in a suitcase when she leaves, so she opens up the train. <laughs> Has she had a trauma with the sheep then in the past? Is that why she doesn't like them? Oh, she was chased by them as a child. Oh, you can really see it coming to come. Look at that. Okay, and then the next bit. I do the back of the head, and this is the way I always do the back of the head, so that I can stitch the head to the body. I leave the back of the head open, but stitch it together. Which side did I draw on? Let's go with that one. Um, I'm going to stitch them together just for an inch or so, maybe up to five centimetres along the back, just to join them, but leave the back open okay. mainly. We've got a photo from Susan. <gasps> <gasps> wow. Right, she's ordered Joe's lamb to go with it, but she made this lamb years ago. And the little blanket to go with it. Look, a little blanket on the side of the lamb. Is that, is that crocheted or knitted? 
But look at the bobbles on that. That is brilliant, isn't it? Or maybe we have to do one of those. The texture is brilliant on that. Can you do crochet? No, I'm not allowed to. No. No, I'm not. My sister, my crochet is my sister's thing, and she's told me I'm not allowed to do it. She has to have one thing that's just for her. Oh, oh dear, that's sibling rivalry, yeah. isn't it? So I, can't, I am not allowed uh, to. Does she want to come on telly? I don't, I don't know. You're very cr creative because your mum's really creative, and the two, you, they're just two sisters. You both, cre and you're both creative. Yes, I have three brothers as well. Oh, are they creative? She's never met. I'm That's go a revelation no. today. They've never been mentioned. Even at the birthday party, they weren't mentioned. <laughs> or is there a secret we shouldn't be talking no, about? No, no, there's not a secret. It's not Are a... they creative? No. No. Okay. I mean, don't want to be too blunt, but no. No. <laughs> not particularly. Right, so I've joined that together. Yeah. Left the bottom open. It's, that seam is just to hold them together so that so we can... So you can stitch it in, yeah. Attach it here. And I'm going to line the seams up in the centre and sew along... One side. You wouldn't do it all in one go then? No, I just find it easier this way. You're just doing one more shallow curve. Yeah. And you know it lines up because the seams are lined up at the top. I don't know why I'm smiling, but the aircon's gone really cold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jane says, oh! Hang on. Tina says, happy post this morning. My mermaid kit has just arrived. Thank you. Beautifully packaged. What was Jane's message before that? Oh. Oh, that one, Jane, your message has creeped through without being uh, 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 approved by the producer. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but she has to press the button. Uh, I bought the lion kit recently. Has Joe thought of doing a Holly Hobby style rag doll? Oh, I've not actually. And I'd love clothes for the toys, please. Oh, it's pyjama Jane. Now I met Jane at, um, a great British show-off uh, show in a the NEC, and she wa always watches in her pyjamas. A big mug of tea watches in her pyjamas in the morning. So she wants uh, clothes for the toys. Well, that's a good idea. I often, in my old job, would make... They'd have to wear a suit, <laughs> lots of the toys I made. I'm quite used Why? to making more... Well, it was for business, various businesses. Oh, so they would buy, like, a lion for their workers wearing a suit that they all wear to work or something like yes, that. Yes, it would regularly have a tie on and a blazer. Mm. It's funny you haven't done any clothes. I've not. Well, apart from a bikini top on the mermaid. So I'm going more generous than, but again, all these seams I would tack first just so that the edges are definitely kept together because actually there I probably didn't take quite enough. So I would go back with this and just over sew and make sure this time I take a slightly more generous. Um, uh, what, where, where is it on the email that we got? OK, I, uh, I'll just tell you now. The email that you've been sent this morning, because I got it and I didn't even notice because I just scanned straight thing. You, got, you all got an email, if you're a customer, about the spend and save this morning. It says that you can use it in January. Right? It's actually February. It's actually February, so I do apologise. All the terms and conditions are correct. It was just the email that you were sent this morning. I think that's because um, Hannah, who, who's in charge of that, went on. Not this Hannah upstairs. Uh, she's not in charge of anything. Uh, Hannah, uh, uh, in the office there, she's gone off on a holiday, so she might have been in a rush to get off on a holiday. Right, OK. And last job <gasps> for the head is just to sew this bottom seam together. So line up. Well, it's all seemed quite um, straightforward so far. It is. It's a really simple pattern. The only thing that does take a little bit of getting used to is the fabric. It's not a difficult pattern. No. To put together at all. I wonder if Shamoya Mary's watching. Uh, hello, Joe and John. I have used the dimple fabric before, and my tip is to stick a colour sticky dot on the wrong side. Oh, that is a really good idea. Thank you, uh, Kathy, for that. I've got some sticky dots as well. I'm going to do that in future. Thank you. But if you want, do take that bit more of a seam allowance, it's fine, because it's all stretchy. And yes. There we go, so that's the face. Oh. And it does look quite pointy, actually, at this point, but it rounds out once yes. it's stuffed. OK. So I'll put the... You've got plenty of time. I'm doing OK. You're that's... doing all right for a change. There we go. And then I'm going to take an arm. And this opening here is the dart for the arm. I'll give it a bit of a shake. Where, where, the here? 
So the arm, so this, there's not a seam here. There's just a dart that the arm sits in there, which you can't see because of the, the fluffiness coming back. OK. <gasps> uh, are you, sorry, were you going to say something? No, just OK. Are you waiting for me to say something? Yeah. That's my job, isn't it? It's only big. Is that, uh, no, no. Have you watched the film, The Dressmaker? I have, <gasps> yes. Someone, I'd never seen it, right? Somebody put on the thing, oh, John, the film The Dressmaker's on tonight. You must watch it. You must be, right? And I was like, oh, I don't want to watch it. I love this. It's now going to be there with Now Voyager as one of my favourite ever films. If you get a chance to watch it, Kate Winslet in a little desert town in Australia. Um, just fantastic. I haven't got your special tip coming through. It's from Sheila. Oh, Sheila, she's from Australia. No, OK. Hello, Joe and John. She's totally addicted to headquarters. Thank you very much. And she loves it. Oh, she, she just bought the 680 sewing machine bundle. <gasps> with Joe's fabulous toy, she can't wait. Oh, that's fantastic, Sheila, it's brilliant. And it really, really is a good machine. I mean, the toys are good as well, but the, the bundle is fantastic and the machine is fabulous as well. Um, so now I hope you used, also used your spend and save. So you should get 44 pounds and 98 pounds worth of free gifts. And then you'll also save 15 pounds, 15 pounds. Okay. So now you're just putting the arm into the dart. So the bottom of the arm, straight to the bottom of the dart. Right. And I've just made sure on both sides, the raw edges are aligned yeah. and I've pinned that. And again, take it, be a bit more generous with yeah. the seam allowance. That's fine. But again, it might be an idea to tack this just so things don't slip because it is slippy fabric really once yes. it's together. Now, this is where you're going to be going through lots of layers. You've got your two dimple layers and then two layers of fleece as well. So I'm going to take it nice and slowly. Yeah. Oh, uh, our Sonia's messaged in. Oh, no. Um, unfortunately, Joe's patterns aren't available uh, separately just yet. What I'm trying to get them to do is make a book. Write a book with all of Joe's patterns in, but at the moment they're not. I'm afraid they're not available separately. Okay, so I've checked the seam allowance. It's good all the way along, and for just extra, extra security, I'm going to go over that again. Okay, just to really make uh, sure. Margaret's missed out today. Margaret, I tell you what, it'll, it, they'll do it. They always repeat Joe's. They always, always, always repeat Joe's patterns. So um, there'll be a reason why we couldn't put... I mean, we had hundreds. We did have hundreds. We thought we'd have plenty for the hour. Um, there'll be a reason why maybe it's the patterns or maybe it's the, the, the dimple fabric. We only had enough for that many hundred um, kits today, but they'll, re uh, they'll definitely reorder it because it was sold out in 12 minutes, wasn't it? Oh, Anne, apparently, just ring the call centre, Anne, and they'll sort it out for you. I don't know what it is, but they'll sort it out for you. OK, so I've done one side, yeah. do the other. Oh, that looks like, um, like a gilet, doesn't it? Like a, a, a from Wallace or something like that. That with your arm coming through a lovely little gilet. Anyway. Well, no, obviously, that's, you've got gloves on. Or a hoof. Oh, and Margaret, your message has come through. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Messages are having their own... Because a lot of these messages are coming through without Hannah pressing the button, so she's... She's a little bit concerned because that means any message could get through and she usually um, only sends me the nasty ones to see how I'll react. Oh, Christine. Christine watched the Dressmaker film the other night and immediately thought to me, do you know what, because I, I had no idea what it was about or anything and it started and I thought, oh, it's going to be one of those murder mysteries and, you know, um, didn't Kate Winslet look amazing, though? And, and her, her outfits and everything like that. And then, well, I don't want to give it away, but there's a, the first scene when they've all been to visit her and they're just in this little town in the middle of nowhere and they're all dressed like, you know, kind of 1950s models. It just, it's the best, the best. Oh, you've got to... Hannah, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. Um, do have tissues because there's a couple of very sad moments in it. I'm not going to say anything else, I'm not going to say anything else. I've just remembered, there is a really sad... Oh, no, uh, sad. Uh, yes. And I thought that was going to be the end of the film. I and then it carries on for ages afterwards, so it's fantastic. No, no, it's, it's brilliant, it's brilliant, it's brilliant, really. There we go, so I've got the arms in. Yep. And then I need to check, because there's markers on the back for the tail, so the tail goes on that side. So you haven't made the tail? Tail oh, here. No. I'll do oh, that. Oh, no, isn't that funny? I thought that... Yeah. Actually, I should have done it when I did everything else, shouldn't I? 
Should I do the tail now so it's ready? Yeah. Oh. He's so cute, isn't he? I would definitely buy a Joe Carter toy book. Please make one soon. Sandra, I'm just doing my deal. <laughs> Thank you, Sandra. The tail, just one piece, folds over and sew around the curve, the curved side, leaving the, leaving the end open. Oh, right. Elizabeth, Elizabeth. Um, Elizabeth just messaged that. Was she on the web, Elizabeth? Okay, right, what happens, let me just explain because there's some confusion, right? We've, so, we've said it's sold out because, say there were 300 of them and 370 people put it in their basket. The first 300 people to check out will get it, the other 70 won't. But that doesn't stop, the computer still thinks, if you haven't checked out, the computer might think only 250 have been sold, which means the computer thinks there's still 50, so you can carry on. So I've said it's sold out. If I went, if I went in there now, and locked in, put one in my basket, checked out straight away, then I'd still get it. Do you know what I mean? But I, what, I, so this is why I always say, please, please check out your basket. There's how many left not checked out? Right, OK, this is the right. That there are two that haven't been checked out, but there are 40 people who've got it in their basket. So two people are going to say, are, are going to click on it and say, yes, well done, you've got it. The other 38 people will get, sorry, it's sold out. So that's why we say check out straight away. Right, tail? Okay, tail stitched around the side. I mean, I've used the thre contrasting thread, but it does get lost yeah. a little bit. You and don't have to pop any filling in if you don't want to. Have you got filling in yours? Only a tiny little right. bit in the end. Oh, have we still got those wonderful little um, scissory things, or do they sell out? We had those like little forceps. Oh, they, they're yeah. really good. We're going to base that closed. Okay. Okay. Don't forget, I've also got the yellow bunny kit still available. Nineteen ninety. I'll go through that. Oh, here, have a look. Have a look quickly. That's there's a few of those still left. Nineteen pounds and ninety nine pence. There's something missing off that picture. Oh, is it because the graphics were in? Because you get embroidery thread as well. That's not on the picture, is it? Sorry. Anyway, well, what are you trying to say? Okay, I brought the bodies together, right sides together, and I'm going to sew them. So is that the along this the stomach seam? So oh, that's the front seam. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Sorry, I was just checking where the legs were going, and I wasn't looking at his bottom. Uh, hang on, I've got Elizabeth first. Love the oh. Oh, okay. Hello, John. If you love the dressmaker, there's a series called The Collection about 50s Paris fashion house. So glamorous. Oh, where's that, Susan? I'll be popping up to. Do you live near Barnsley? You're in South Yorkshire. That's Barnsley's in South Yorkshire. I only know that because I went to college at Bretton Hall, which was halfway between Wakefield and Barnsley. If you went to Wakefield, you had to pay full price because West Yorkshire didn't do subsidies on the bus. But if you went to Barnsley, you only had to pay a penny or something to get. That's lovely, Barnsley. Right, OK. So that's Next. the body with the front seam sewn up. That's okay. all the main body. Yeah. The legs, choose where you want the seam to be. I'm going to put, put it towards the side. So I'll have the folded edge towards the centre of the body. Just make sure they both go the same. Same way, yeah. So both folded edges towards the centre. And I'm going to baste the legs onto the front of the body. OK. And there are markers on the pattern, yeah. although it, it's a little bit tricky to see them, although I can. They have stayed on this piece. How many minutes have we got? Four, did you say? Yeah, four. Do you feel a bit like I'm eating this fabric now? Say that again. I feel a bit like I'm eating this fabric now. Oh, yes. It's all in the air. There we go. Do you do the one? Hannah has to, when Hannah's working on anything fluffy, she has to wear one that, you know, like the ladies wearing the, the nail. Oh, the mask. Yes. Oh, yes, good question, whoever that came in from. Um, after you've made this, would you advise giving your machine a good clean out because of yes, the fabric? Definitely, because it will all, you have all fluff caught underneath. There we go, so legs are basted on. And then it's the base. So I'll start at the back 
and I'm going to sew the base all the way around. And again... Tail, tail. The tail goes in after this. Oh, does it? It does. Oh, because it's not in the... I'm it's... sorry, we're doing this seam here. We're doing this seam here, but the tail's obviously in that bit there. Oh, forgot the lambs, got carried away watching the Winter Olympics. Hope they'll be coming back soon as their beautiful Jackie. Uh, that, I, I can guarantee they'll be back, Jackie. They'll definitely get, bring them back. They might not be the same. They might have to be a different fabric or something, but um, uh, I forgot the Winter Olympics. Oh, Anne got one of the last two, because she checked out her basket straight away. Congratulations, Anne. Oh, the collection series is on Prime. I don't, what does that mean? What's Prime? I don't... That's Amazon, isn't it? Oh. Do I have to buy Amazon telly then to do that? I don't know. I had a lady come round to the house yesterday. That sounds wrong. The doorbell went. I was doing my housework and the doorbell went and I went outside and they always ring the front doorbell and in the countryside we don't use the front door. So I walked round the side of the house from the back door. Anyway, it was this fabulous lady called Jasmine and she would have from the BBC and I was like, are oh, you? Anyway, she was, you know when they, you hear that those people go, we did a survey of 100 people. I was one of the survey. So, she, so I wouldn't let her in the house, but we stood outside, <laughs> freezing cold. Because I thought it was going to be about four questions. I didn't realise I was going to be there an hour later. Otherwise, I would have invited her in. Anyway, so uh, we did, I did all the questions. Actually, I've got to go to number 16. Only me and number 16. Nobody else should do anybody else in the road. Anyway, she's had to be on Facebook this morning. Uh, Eolis says, morning, can you please tell me the size of the throat of the machine? I think it's nine inches, but I'll just double check for it. No, it's, I don't think it's the uh, uh, game. It's for the how many people watch this, how... Because... No, not... With, no, they didn't ask questions like... They asked me what my favourite programmes were, because I said Jeremy Kyle, right? And she had to go like this. Oh, I don't think Jeremy Kyle's on my list, actually. <laughs> so she had to put it down to reality. I'll go and measure it over here. I'll go to it on this one. Uh, the the uh, throat size... From the uh, edge to the needle is eight and a half inches. I, I can show you on Joe's now. Now Joe's finished saying I can show you on him. So I've measured from there. Now you've got the needle across to the centre of... is eight and a half inches. Oh, you can't see that there. Anyway. OK, next. That was for earless. Uh, they, we've got one that's got... that's a bigger throat. I don't know if we've got them in stock at the moment, the 730, which is about £1,699. Um, that's got an 11-inch throat. Right, very quickly. OK, I've popped the base on. I find it easiest to sew with the base piece on top, but not everybody does. OK. I would recommend it was tacked on yeah. first, and then it might be easier to sew around this way with okay. the body on top. Yeah. And then I'm just going to join the head onto the body and pop okay. the tail in. How long have I got, sorry? One minute. One minute, I can sew this in one minute. <sighs> I but, can sew, I can do it. But I, my definite tip, tack first. Yeah. By hand? By hand, and then go over it with the machine. It will take that bit longer, but I just think it will save time in the long run. Yes. No pressure. Okay. Wendy, have you got my apples? Thank you. There we go. Oh, look! So just talk me through the... Because we're going to run out of time now, so just talk me through the last bit. Took all the limbs inside, closed the back of the head down to the neck. Yeah and pop the tail in the bottom and sew up just above the tail. So the tail's secured in place, but then you've got the opening in the back. Yeah. Turn it the right way out and stuff. Stuff the head. I find it easiest to embroider the face on before the rest of the body is. Pop the eyes in now as well. Yeah. Um, embroider, stuff, embroider the face on and then close the back. It's oh, not... Because uh, that really is like the Shari Lewis one, isn't it? Oh, that's how she used to do it, wasn't it? So even vegan remembers that. Thank you, Joe. Now, Joe's back in the nose. Well, it's not so, stuffed yet. It's not a real lamb. Hannah's getting all upset because I just shoved it down like that. It's not a real lamb. It's not alive till it has eyes. No, exactly. Right. Um, you're back in an hour doing the galaxy quilt. I am. Um, we're going to find out. We haven't heard back from our buying team yet about the shedding of the fabric. Well, 
Um, yeah, just be aware if they're under threes, that's all. Right, I'll see you in an hour's time then with see the Galaxy then. Quilt. Thank you. Right. Now, obviously, this is all sold out, so there's no point in showing you this, so I'll just put that in my trolley. Oh, yes, of course, I'm going to do that now, right? Okay, so this, the only thing I've got for sale at the moment is this. And these are limited as well, I think. Oh, there's 15 left. There's 15 left. You're all right 50 for 15 of you. Uh, 19 99 You can make two bunnies out of it. So what you get in there is you get the instructions, the thread, the embroidery thread, the uh, two half metres of fabric. You get wadding and you get stuffing. There it is. And you get your embroidery thread on that one. It's just not on the picture. £19.99. pence. Then we've also got the sewing machine bundle, with which a couple have gone. Right, the instructor, oh, I'll just show it from there. So the sewing machine is brilliant for 999 anyway, but today, until 8 o'clock tomorrow morning, you will also get a, now these are limited, obviously, you will also get the uh, bunny kit and you'll also get the sheep kit uh, worth £44.98. And remember, if you use your spend and save, you'll also get £15 off on your spend and save as well. So for £919, you get all of that plus your spend and save. Right, don't go anywhere because coming up after the break, I've got pre -cut, a pre-cut show special uh, with some premieres, with some uh, Jennifer Paganelli fabric that I've never seen before, which I absolutely adore. I've got that lo some lovely storage, really posh. I'd, I'd say it's posh storage. Joe would like it. It looked nice in Joe's house. Um, and there's something else in there. Oh, and a couple of books, a couple of books. So don't go anywhere. I'll see you in three minutes uh, from now. Uh, the, 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 of all the, they've all been checked out and everything now. Is the, is the um, lamb all done now? Lamb's all done now, but you can still buy the rabbit. Uh, see you in three minutes from now. Join us on Facebook. Simply search for The Sewing Quarter and like our page for the latest news and more. As soon as you place an order with us, we get to work on making your shopping experience that extra bit special. Our warehouse team pick your items and cut your fabric with the greatest care and precision. Cut fabric is neatly folded and packed in a tissue paper lined presentation box. And when we're satisfied that it's just perfect, it gets the sewing quarter seal of approval. So whether you're giving a gift or treating yourself, you can shop with confidence, knowing your sewing quarter purchases will arrive in style. Join us on Wednesday the 14th of February, when Victoria Pete will be here to make a stylish patchwork poof from Simply Sewing magazine. This practical addition to your home decor uses a fun foundation paper piecing method which Victoria demonstrates along with her top tips and professional techniques for perfect results. Once you know how simple it is, you can snap up one of our kits complete with step-by-step -step instructions. We've got fabric options to suit everyone. So tune in and prepare to transform your home on Wednesday the 14th of February at 10 a.m. only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. We have an amazing offer for you this weekend. Only available on Saturday the 10th and Sunday the 11th of February. If you shop with us and spend £50 or more, you'll save up to £15. You can buy anything from our website or on the TV shows, and the more you spend, the more you'll save. If you spend £50 or more, you'll get £5 off with code SAVE5. Or if you spend £75, you can use SAVE10 to get £10 off. Best of all, if your order comes to £100, you can save £15 with code SAVE15. The offer starts on Saturday the 10th of February and runs until 8am on Monday the 12th of February. You can only use the code once, but with our daily £2.95 posters and packaging, you can add to your basket all day to boost your savings. So shop from our TV shows or direct from our website at sewingquarter.com this weekend and enjoy our special spend and save discount. For full terms and conditions, see sewingquarter.com.
So you just saw the advert for the spend and save there. You can keep shopping all day long. You can only use the code once, you see. So if you keep your basket going all day long and then at your last checkout, put the, um, put the right code in, it'd be fantastic because you can save up, look, Five pounds off 50 pounds, 10 pounds off 75 pounds, or 15 pounds off 100 pounds. So if you buy a sewing machine uh, or whatever, then you get your 15 pounds off. Just put in the code, save 15. Right, um, there's nothing else I've got to tell them, is there at the moment? No. This is lovely, so coming up in the next hour. Now you will have seen the pattern before, but in different fabrics. Now this one is made of Spectrum solids. It's got Michael Miller uh, star, star fabric in there. And it's gorgeous, isn't it? So Joe, uh, Joe's, I thought we'd just use the old one, but Joe's made the whole of that, especially. Especially, it's lovely. Oh, right, can you not see the top of it up there? Oh, well, I wonder how you're gonna do that. Anyway. Oh, I know, you can put it on the wooden blocks and have it lower, couldn't you, like that? Anyway, I've got pre-cuts, I've got books, I've got storage. And I've got uh, premieres. Now I've got two, I want, I'll go to these in a minute because these are my premieres. But I've got two Jennifer Paganelli. Um, oh, they're not premieres, but they're new to me. I've never seen them before. I've got Kaif. Oh, I've got a special deal on some Tilda. And when it's gone, it's gone. When it's gone, it's gone. Got my favorite anthologies here. And then I've got the books there. Oh, and remember if you're a new buyer and you spend over 10 pounds on your first purchase, this is your free gift that you'll get. You don't have to do anything, you don't have to fill anything in, it'll automatically be sent to you. Worth 16.99, little um, A4 self-healing cutting mat there. Worth 16.99. Okay. It's almost, it's semi-opaque that one, it's nice, it's got the light through it. Okay, right, now, any questions you've got, please send your message. Please send in your messages or anything like that. Right, okay. In fact, your messages are just coming through without Hannah even pressing the button today. So. so which one would you like me to start with? The pink one, yeah, that's fine. I'll put that one there then. Now, this is brand new. This is a premiere, right? It's Amy Butler. It's from her night music range. What I'll do is I'll get them all out to start with and then we can do a bit of wafting. Because some of them you will have seen before and some of them you won't. Oh, this is nice. Remember the range only came out this January? We're only just in February. Oh, no, we're supposed to be at the 10th. What, what date are we? Oh, it is the 10th. Now, hang on, I need to move one, that one there. There we go. So, you, we have had some of these fabrics by the half metre. We've had this one by the half metre. We've had that one by the half metre. We've had these two by the half metre. I don't think we had those stitch birds in pink, did we, by the half metre? And then I've definitely seen this one, but I don't know if it was in that colourway. But you have to see these. You have to see these. Look at these beautiful... We haven't had this fabric before. <gasps> Look, I only got it in the fat quarter. Isn't that lovely? Now, I remember getting 12 fat quarters for 46 99 Now, if you're new to us, you're thinking, what is he talking about, fat quarters? I'll just explain to you what they do. In Europe... They take a metre of fabric. In America, they take a yard of fabric. They cut it in half down that way and in half that way. And the four pieces that are left over are fat quarters. I'm giggling because it's turned Arctic in here, just so you know. We haven't touched, we haven't touched the air con. We haven't touched the air con, Hayley, if you're watching. It's just done it by itself. <laughs> right, OK. So now, now that, that we've got that one in the grey. We've also got the same fabric in the, like, the aqua turquoise as well. It's unusual, isn't it? They're like, um, there was a, what's the name of that very posh uh, florist in town, in London town? Moisey Stevens, Moisey Stevens. They look like they're, they're creations by Moisey Stevens, don't they? Lovely, really nice. Um, oh, sorry, did I take down too quickly? Right, okay. Um, then I've got a couple of others. Now, this are geometric -y. Now, this, this one, this next one, what was the range called that Lucy made the um, cover, the sewing machine cover out of? Because there, there was a kind of little triangly one in there, wasn't there? I wonder, I'm wondering if it's one of her, um, one of her, you know, kind of things. Shall we see it? There we go. 
Look, it's kind of almost 3D geometric, isn't it? Forty-six nighttime. Right now, Hannah's tried to in prep. Hannah tried to find this um, range, night music range in the UK. Not that easy to get hold of in the UK, apparently. Soulmate. That's what it was called. Soulmate. Thank you. Soulmate. Yeah, the free spirit fabrics. But then. We've also got this one. Now, I will show you the other ones in case you, in case you didn't see the Amy Butler show. I'll show you the other ones. I'm just showing the new ones. So I, I like this. Look, that's nice, isn't it? Look at the attention to detail in there. The splash of pink, the splash of blue, and the lovely fresh greens in there. Uh, no, I love this one as well. I love this one as well. Never had it. Never. And I've got this in the other fat quarter. I think it comes in another colorway in the other fat quarter. Yeah, it must do because I've seen a dark blue version. Okay, now just in case you haven't seen the Amy Butler ones before, let me just show you the other ones as well, which we love just as much, but it's just that we haven't seen those before. Now there's this one, which we think is based on a Japanese flower design. Well, you have a look, you tell me what you think. You tell me what you think. Oh, we've got it upside down. I don't think it's got a, a right way and a wrong way, has it? So it's like an explosion of color, isn't it? It's almost like, um, you know, when you see it like a cartoon, like an old fashioned, you know, like the old, fa really old fashioned Disney ones, like the Cind uh, not Cinderella, the um, Snow White and everything. And she'd go for a walk in the woods and all the flowers would do that coming because they're happy to be see her and everything. You know what I mean? That's what they remind me of. So I've got that and in the pink and that comes in the green as well. And then there's the stitched bird one, which is this one. There you go. So it looks like they're made of stick, you know, like they've been sewn, embroidered. <laughs> 46 pounds and 99 pence. Now, Wendy's not been anywhere near that machine, has she? Just to warn you now, they've suddenly gone, oh, it's cold in here, and they're pumping out hot air now, so we'll see what happens next. Sorry, everybody. It's very boring for you at home. Has he put it up by one degree? Has she put it up by one degree, did she say? Somebody's been in to see it, but they're coming again on Monday, so. Now, and there's this one, which also reminds me of Moroccan tiles. Oh. <laughs> 46, it'll, it'll sort itself out, don't worry, I'll cope. 46, only a bit of air con, isn't it? 46.99 for 12 fat quarters in there, lovely cotton by Free Spirit. Yes, and um, where Hannah looked, she said they, they might have a few from the range, but that she hasn't seen the whole collection like that. Right, I'll finish that one off with the pink one on the top. Nice, 46 pounds and 99 pence for the 12 fat quarters. Brand spanking new, Premier, Premier, Premier. Okay, now the other Premier is this one here. Now again, you will have seen some of these fabrics because this first one, if you're watching me and Lucy the other day, she made, used that in a folder cover, didn't she? but then I've never seen that one. Now we've only just seen this one, but in a different colorway. We've only just seen this one, but in a different colorway. We haven't seen this one before. Now that's the tiles, which we have seen before. Now this, remember the, the Walt, what I called the Walt Disney flowers, not seen it in that colorway before. Uh, and I've not seen the stitch birds in that colorway. Then we've got that geometric one, look in the blue and the, now, remember Hannah and I said we had our favorite? Look, I said I'd seen that one in the blue, didn't I? <gasps> oh, I like, I like that one. Then we've also got the floor. Oh, look, 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 look. yeah, there's another one, there's two. I knew I'd seen a darker one, geometric. So they're all, it's weird, isn't it? They're all different colors, but they're all from the same collection. So they go beautifully together. So let me take you through the premieres that I haven't seen before. Well, the whole, the whole bundle is a premiere. We haven't had fat cords in this before, but some of these fabrics spread by the half meter, not this one though. Nice, isn't it? Sprigs of flowers, that one is, isn't it? Dark background. So there's that one, and then that one also comes in two other colorways in this fat bundle. So it comes in this colorway. Look. 
Same fabric, different feel. That looks like, um, that looks like um, underwater, movement underwater. I'm not going to even tell you what Hannah can see. Sometimes I can sort of see what she's on about not to do. She's had two days off. See, she's not spoken to anyone for two days. Oh, she, she frightened a man at the gym, apparently. He was rude to you. Oh. Did you say that to him? Oh, OK. This man just was behaving like she wasn't there. So anyway, you've got the florals. Then let's do these two geometrics, right? These two geometrics are new to us. I mean, this is a brand new fat quarterback. Premier, premier, premier today. Look. That moves a little bit. Oh, now do you know what that reminds me of? Who was it? It was Kaif, wasn't it? Who had the disco fans for the mermaids. It's a bit like that, isn't it? I don't think you'd want wallpaper like that, Hannah. Oh, do you know what it's reminded me of? Hang on. I've just so from that distance there. Oh, no, not that distance, but that distance. It's gone. Moment's gone. No, no, it's not your fault, It's my brain, not your camera work or your directing. Right, then we've got the same one in the blue and the pink. Oh, now this one is saying air text to me at this stage, but hang on. No, that's not. Oh, Anna doesn't even know what air text is. If you went to school the same time as I did, your pants and your PE shirt would have been made out of Airtex. Breathable. It's nice though, isn't it? It's almost, it's, I, 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 mm, I don't know why, but it's saying round the world in 80 days to me, this one. Or the film Tommy, Hannah's saying. Oh, you will love, you have got to go home and watch the dressmaker film though, Hannah, because it's brilliant. Uh, right, let's do the two geometrics that we haven't seen before. These are lovely, look. Remember, you're getting all of these, all of these, all 12 of these in one bundle. That looks like from a distance, then close to. <sighs> nice. That's lovely, isn't it? £46.99 and pence for all 12, remember. Let's fold that one up. Then the other geometric. Now, this one's in more of a petrol blue, this one. Oh, do you know why? It's because the pink um, highlight is very, very soft, pinky peach in that one, isn't it? We like. Then, of course, I've got the exploding flowers, but in a colour we've not seen before. It's got like a, a navy, navy blue background, this one. Oh, nice. You see, now we didn't, we didn't do this, but this colourway in the half metre looks completely different, doesn't it? So that would make a lovely uh, frock. Obviously not in a fat quarter, but if, if, we, if we could have sold it by the half metre, that would be lovely. And then one more that I haven't shown, oh no, two more that I haven't shown you. We've got the stitched birds, but in like a magenta, Ooh, that's vibrant. It's more than magenta, isn't it, that? That's more, is it cyclamen, would you say? Remember, these are uh, 46 99 for 12 fat quarters, less than four pounds per fat quarter. A brilliant way of getting a taster of all the fabrics, isn't it? And then uh, just one more I haven't shown you, and then I'll move on. There's this one here, which was the... Um, I know, when you chop that up, imagine how brilliant that's going to look when you cut it up. I wouldn't even fussy cut that one. I'd just literally cut through the circles. Sorry, no, I didn't mean that, I didn't mean that hard. Yes. Don't cut it like that, obviously. 
Uh, anyway, that one is a premiere. Amy Butler, brand new today, 12 fat quarters, 46.99. Lovely, isn't it? Lots of you checking out on that one. I'm not surprised. Amy Butler's got a lot of fans here at Sewing Quarter. Right, and in the world, and in the world, but also, um, I'm sorry, but I've come all untucked again with my waft in. Right, okay, what's next? We could do Jennifer Paganelli, but can I just be naughty and do just walk heads up about this? These are fat eights, right? For those of you who don't know, it's a fat quarter cut in half, right? These are tilde. We are not getting this collection again. Not because we don't want to, because we can't. There's a new, we've got a new collection coming in. I think Natasha's launching it pretty soon. Um, let's put the graph, are we going to put the graphs in or just teasing? Am I putting the graphics in or just teasing? Okay, let's just do it because you've seen these for $49.99 here today. I, I'm, I've only got, um, well, I've got less than 20, less than 20 of these. $39.99, you get... I think it's, is it 20 you get in there? 20 in there, doesn't say on the, on the, on the thing, does it? You get 20 fat eights. So this is sea greed, right? You get four different colored sea greeds. You get firework in two different colors. Oh, hang on. You get mini in three different colors. You get botanical in four different colors. You get Minerva in three different colors. And you get leaf berry in four different colors. So you get all of those fat eights. Uh, less than two pounds of fat eight, that is, look, 39.99. 39.99. As I just said, a fat eight is a fat quarter cut in half. Hannah was uh, bemused for a little while because she, she said to, to me, uh, I can't remember what she said to me, and then her phone just said, that's what I thought, right? No, the phone's not even on, right? It's on, obviously on for an emergency, but it's just over there. And she went, that's what I thought. So that's a fat eighth. That's what you get for a fat eighth. Well, it's that way up, isn't it? That's a fat eighth. 39, 99. Now remember, when they're gone, they're gone. We're not getting this again. We cannot order it again. They are fat eights. You're saving ten pounds today. So we've got all sorts of spends and saves today, haven't we? That's just automatic. That's just you just literally. Last week we'd have paid 49.99 for it. This week or until or today, until these sell out, got less than 20. Um, 39.99. Less than two pounds a fat eight. Right now I'll get on. Oh, there you go. Quarter of the stock's gone already. Right, let me just put that in there. Right, okay, let's do Jennifer Paganelli. Which ones would you add to first? With the black background. Yep. Right. We've had pineapples already this morning, haven't we, in a different range. So we have pineapples. I've not seen this collection before. I've seen the fabric, but I've not, well, no, I've not seen this fabric. I've not seen this fabric. I've not seen that fabric. I love that one. Let me put that one there. Then you've got the pink daisies there. You see, what? A, oh, now you've seen that one. We sold that one by the half meter. But none of these, we didn't sell any of these by the half meter. Ah, blimey, how many are there? That's an unusual number, isn't it? 11 you get. Uh, I haven't got a black one. That there, chocolate brown. Chocolate brown, that one. It's not, I love all those. But I also love the fact that she's mixed that with that. Isn't it? All these, you see. Um, so anyway, you get all of these, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 of those for 49.95. Do you know what? When's your, what's the first spend and save? Oh, 50 pounds. Buy something else. Buy something else, and then you'd get your five pounds off. Well, buy something for five pounds, and then you get your five pounds off, wouldn't you? Look, if you spend and save. So you buy something else for five. I'm not adding any undue pressure. I promise, I promise. I'm just saying out loud what I would do at home, because you wouldn't want to pay 49.95 and not be involved with the offer. So buy something for five pounds, and you th you're almost getting that five pound one for free, aren't you? 
Anyway, so let's go through the colors. We've got the daisy, this daisy print is lovely in the pink, the darker pink, the blue and green, and the blue and yellow. Then we've got this, uh, there we go together, there you go together. I just love, the, the, what's lovely about Jennifer Paganelli's is they all look like they've been painted, don't they? I'll do this one first. Let me do this one. Yeah, I'll do this one so you can see it better. We're back to fat quarters now, obviously. 11 fat quarters on this one. Look. That really does look like she's gone, um, got a paintbrush and, you know, gone, gone to town on that one, hasn't she? So that's the green one there. Then the same fabric comes in like the bluey purple, like an indigo color. This is nice. Look, that's gorgeous, isn't it? Forty-nine ninety-five. Remember? Uh, hi, John. I've just found the dressmaker on Netflix. I'm going to save it for tomorrow when the grandchildren have gone and do some hand sewing. Oh, Julie, you won't be able to concentrate on your hand sewing. It's Fascinating. The film is just, I didn't want, it was one of those I didn't want to end. And it's now in the folder on my Sky Plus along with um, Now Voyager and um, what's that one? Wing Beneath My Wings. Beaches. This is Free Spirit as well, Jennifer Paganelli, Free Spirit um, Cottons. Look. So they all look like she's, that one looks like when you get your paintbrush and you squidge it down hard on the paper. You can tell I did art, can't you, at college? Squidge it. Aren't they lovely? The colours are beautiful, fresh. 100% cotton, um, machine washable, obviously. And then we've got the same, that one in the same um, pattern, but in a different colourway. I'm getting to Hannah's favourites in a second. Look, see, that's nice. Do you know what? It's almost a take on a 40s print, isn't it? Late 30s, early 40s print. It's like a contemporary take on them. Okay. And then, now the pink one, I love this magenta one. You have seen that this, well, you might have not seen it, but we sold this by the half metre. I saw somebody the other day using it um, in a bundle. <sighs> nice. called Judith's Fancy, this range. Oh, that one is still available on the, on the website by the half meter, if you want that. Yeah, that, that one and the one in the blue colorway, which is in the other bundle, is on the website. Right, let's have a look. Hannah's favorite, pineapples. Fun, isn't it? They look like Easter eggs to me. Easter eggs in the, in the undergrowth for the Easter, what's it called when you hide the Easter eggs, Easter egg hunt. Because uh, Joe, last, Joe recently made a um, little rucksack, didn't she, which she thought would be good for Easter egg hunts. And then this chocolate brown one with the um, sprinkles nice, isn't it? All of it, like you remember I saying that the, the flowers look like she'd squidged a paintbrush down. This one, she's just splattered, hasn't she? Anyway, that's gorgeous. That's brand new to me. So there, I'll just show it to you again. 11, very unusual to put 11 together, isn't it? 11 fat quarters. Beautiful colour range as well. Judith's Fancy. This is pack two, this one. This is pack two. So I'm presuming the next one I'm going to show you will be pack one. But, you know, anything could happen. Oh, yeah, the Tilda. <sighs> Hang on a second. The Tilda Fat Eights bundle that I just showed you. Today at 39.90. They're going to sell out today, so I can say today, today anyway. There's seven left. There's only seven left. There's only seven. Oh, OK, there's seven left, but four of those are in baskets. So there's only three left, really. There's only three left, really. $39.99. Uh, you have to be quicker, I'm afraid, if you want this. So you've got Botanica, you've got Leafberry, 
you've got Mini, you've got Firework, oops, you've got Minerva, Mother Leafberry there, Minerva, Minerva, Seagreed in four different colorways. They're all fat uh, eights. You get 20 of them for 39 pounds and 99 pence. We will never be getting it again. So if you want it, you need to check out. I'm not adding any injury pressure. I promise, just don't want you to be disappointed. £39.99. Lovely, aren't they? OK. And now, how many have I got left? Sorry, Hannah, did you say? Three. I've got three of those left. They'll go, they'll go, they'll go. <laughs> Do you know what? It's not me having a menopausal flush. Uh, the, the, uh, we're not touching the aircon at all, and it's just doing whatever it fancies doing today, isn't it? Even Michael, who's only young, his coat's coming off, the coat's going on, the top's coming No, not the top's coming He's not taking his top off. He's not doing a Chippendale or anything. Right, let's do the other Jennifer Paganelli. I'm about halfway through the hour already, look. <laughs> nice, not seen that one before. If you like the pineapples, but you want with a, with a more tropical background. This is daisies. This is summer, isn't it, all over? That's the other one that we've seen by the half metre, and it's still available by the half metre on the website. There, oh, look, there's that lovely hand-painted roses. Oh, look, pineapples with pink. So now, there's completely different... Oh, right, completely different. I will waft these, but look. That is reminding me there's a chocolate... The company that make chocolate, right? And that one is the raspberry and sea salt. Not sea salt, no, what's that salt that's good for you? The pink salt. Manhattan, who? Himalayan, Himalayan. Anyway, I'll move on. This, I've never seen that one before. I will, I will, I will, I will. I said that, I just said, I'll open them all up in a minute when I've laid them out. Very different. Right, I've done something wrong here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh, no, I haven't. Aren't they gorgeous? Right, I'm going to open this one first because it's a culmination of Hannah's favourite fabric and all the others. Oh, 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 they've got people on them. Look. Oh, much. Oh, look. I love her. I love her. Hang on, is there another one? Oh, oh, she looks a bit shocked at the top there, doesn't she? <gasps> oh, yes, yeah, so obviously your ladies will be different because where they cut the fabric. Oh, I love that one. Oh, what, do you know what? I, I, she's even got the JP in the bottom corner, so she's obviously sat and painted these at home. <gasps> oh, we have to get her in, don't we? Is she the one? Is she the one that we looked at and she was sitting in the, la in the lounge and I said, is that her house or is it a museum? Not a museum, but an art gallery. Oh, I love it. Oh, there's a white pineapple at the bottom there. Oh, that, oh, I wish we sold that by the half metre. That is stunning. I'll be quiet now. Right, OK, another new one that we've never seen before, which comes in two, co two colourways. Look. Now, she's, she's gone with a theme, hasn't she? She's got the spattered dots. She's got the paintbrush just... What does I say? I can't remember the word I use now. Splodged. Oh, I like this one. This is a gorgeous fat quarter bundle, isn't it? OK, so I've got that and I've got that. Now, I've also got this one in another colourway. In the darker magenta. Look at this. <sighs> Oh, imagine what gorgeous projects you could do with these. Look. Oh, yes, love. Love, 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 love. Can I look at it from a distance again, vegan? Look. I think that is gorgeous. They look like gerberas from this distance, don't they? And then when you get close to, you can see they're just squidges and splatters. I'm sure there's more to it than squidges and splatters, but you know what I mean? Oh, I like. Me likey. Okay, so I've done those two and I've done those two. Then let me just do the, um, 
The one that I think is the chocolate wrapper. <laughs> oh, it's made me think of that chocolate now, and it's so delicious. I don't eat chocolate anymore, but um, well, chocolate with salt, I think, is delicious. Salt in it. Oh, look. That would make a lovely boudoir. If they did that in wallpaper, I'd have that in one. I'd change one of my bedrooms to, like, a boudoir bedroom. Or I'd have it in my dressing... I've got one bedroom that's my dressing... Well, let's call it my dressing room. It's got two rails and a chest of drawers in it. But do you know what I mean? And the ironing board. That would look gorgeous, wouldn't it? Oh, that's nice. So we don't sell that one by the half metre either. We've not seen that one before. <clears throat> so I've done that one, that one, that one. Then, oh, this is new. This is new. This is new. Look, oh, they look like primulas, don't they, from there? They're not when you get close to, look. Oh, yes, they are, yes, they are. Are they primulas? Oh, do you know what? I'd love one of the beds in your garden to look like that. All overflowing, and they're perfectly, they're perfectly positioned. They fill the gaps. How are your daffodils doing, Hannah? Well, mine are out now. Yeah. And you know the 50 snowdrops I, I planted, and I did some over there, all facing up, some over there just scattered, some in a pot, right? One's come up. And it's only about that big at the moment. Because I drove, oh, because I drove, where was I driving from yesterday? And um, all, oh, I went to, was it yesterday I went to see Cherry? All these, uh, in the woodland, all the um, snowdrops in the woodland are all out and everything. Really lovely. Well, somebody messaged in, didn't they? They're asking, if you haven't pl planted the bulbs, you have to plant the bulbs while the leaves are still on the trees for them to come out in the spring. So I'm presuming next spring I'll have loads of um, them. Gorgeous pinks there, aren't they? OK. I've still got pineapples to show you with the pink and the blue background. Got loads to show you actually. I better get a move on. Nice. You see, they don't look like Easter eggs, they look like pineapples, don't they? Isn't that funny? You had a message from who, Hannah? Oh, from a new customer. Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Oh, that is a difficult. That's now. That's a good question. It says on the on the advert that we just showed you on the terms and conditions. The to no, right. Okay. The, yes, but 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 does it mean you can keep checking out until it gets to over fifty pounds, or to? I think what it means is because you do a continue. Do you know what the best thing to do is? I don't know your name because you're a new customer. Give the call centre a ring. It's completely for free. 0800 112 4433, because how I would read it is you can keep checking out all day, and then if your final thing is that, that on your final checkout, if it goes to one of the spend over 50, spend 75, or spend 100, then you can claim your, your code. Yeah, that's what I think. You, see, you do keep, that's what I said, keep on adding it up all day, and then on your final checkout, then you put, then, so keep checking out, because otherwise, like we always say, if you don't check out, you don't, you don't get it. Like on the Joe Carter, so many, like 100 people missed out on the Joe Carter uh, lambs, right? Um, but because they didn't check out. But if you checked out and keep checking, and that was, that was how much with the lambs? Tw 25 pounds or something like that, that was 89 pounds. Um, keep checking out. But I would check with the, with the call centre, because they'll know better. You can only use it one per customer, but but it should be of your total cost of the whole day, because it says on the advert, keep topping up, doesn't it, to, to get to the, uh, the thing. So, yes. Um, but I would ask, I would ask. If there's something you definitely, definitely want, I always say check out, because I'm guaranteed to get it then. Primula. What did I say? What did I say? Didn't I say primulas? No, I didn't say primroses. I said... I can't remember what I said now. But yeah, primulas, they look like that, don't they, Janet? Yeah. They're lovely, aren't they? OK. And let me show you this one again. I've got to show you this one again. Oh. <laughs> I 
I love it. I wish we... Because look, there's the premium. It's just called Ladies, is it, that fabric? Oh, I think I'd get on with uh, Jennifer Paganelli. Oh, some of her designs are in the American Folk Art Museum. She old or young? Well, hang on, Hannah, what do you... Get, have a, an age range. Okay, Hannah and I have just fallen out. I said, does she look old? She went, yeah, she looks really old. I said, how old? Between 50 and 60, she said. So you can all send in your hate mail to Hannah now. Uh, where does that one go? There. Right, I've got Kaif's. Or oh, which one is that next? Anthologies first, of course. These are lovely. I love these. I've only got the three colorways today. Um, shall I do orange first, yeah? What these are is they're, light, they're gorgeous from America. Fat quarters. Um, now, I'll show you. I'll show you. Because each one is a different colour, but I will show you the kind of print on them in a second. I'll keep that one to show you a print. So you get 12 in a pack, but look, each one is a different colour. Now, uh, Crazy Lorraine bought the purple... Did she buy, yeah, she bought the purple one, didn't she? She bought the purple one for her new um, quilt in her bedroom. But look, let me show you this one. They have like this... It's not batik. I don't think it's batik. It's more like... Um, that oil and water kind of effect. Not even tie-dye, really, is it? It's just a scrunch, throw it in the dye, get it out the dye, let it dry. It's nice, but they've all got that. But you see, obviously, the, the more pastel the colours, the more subtle it's going to be. On the yellow, you can really... Uh, some of the yellow ones are so subtle. You see, look, there you go. So that's the orange one that we've got in there. 12 fat quarters, 100% cotton, machine washable. Now I'm thinking, because that comes from America, they'll be the yard cut four different ways. Oh, hang on, it's not folding back up, that one. There we go. So that's the orange one. <laughs> Come on, John. There we go. That's the orange one. Then I've also got it in purple. John, 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 just received my best study fabric. It's fabulous. I can't believe how beautiful it is. It's my all-time favourite. Oh, we loved it, didn't we, Hannah? We really loved it. Congratulations, Jackie. Oh, how lovely. I love it when you get your parcels and you open it and you over... It looks even better in real life than it does on the telly, do you know what I mean? Anyway, these are the purple ones. You get 12 of these again. Ranging through all the different shades. Now, what's the colour of the year from Pantone? Ultraviolet. And they show, if you look at their website, they just show all the different coloured purples like this. Oh, these are very limited, the purple ones. Purple are very, very limited. 12 fat quarters. This is the one Lorraine's got. And what she did was she bought some cave to go with hers. <clears throat> at £44.99. Okay. One more colourway to show you in the yellow. Hillary. Oh, Hillary, if you want to uh, send... Uh, you can either ring the call centre, 0800 Oh, OK. Oh, no, well, in that case, there's another... E I don't know if we've got a slide of it, have we? Uh, there's an email address called help at sewingquarter.com. Help at sewingquarter.com. Maybe they'll be able to help you. I don't know. Oh, Hillary, I don't know. Or if you get no, if you get no reply from them, you send it to studio. Send your email to studio here and we'll make sure. It, in fact, do you know what? It might be easier to do that. It won't, it won't get sorted, obviously, today because there's nobody in, in here. But we could, we could forward it to the right person if you want to send it here. You just send it to him. If you send it to Hannah now, studio at sewingquarter.com, studio at sewingquarter.com, she can then forward it to the person who we think would be most apt. Now, it might not be till Monday that it gets sorted, because it's not... Even though we're open 24 hours a day, seven days a week, every day of the year, the office isn't. 
Oh, that reminds me. Um, can you write on your... Oh, it's Hannah Busy, sorry. Okay. This is the yellow one. Now, this is what I was saying about the yellow. Look, on your telly, that's just going to look like cream fabric, isn't it? I'll just put that one under there, because they look very pale, don't they, on your telly? £44.99 is the anthology 12-piece fat quarter bundle in yellow. Lovely, it's not all the different colours. £44.99. Twelve piece fat quarter in the yellow, forty four pounds. Do you know what? Look at that. They're not even four pounds each, are they? Hang on, forty. Twelve into forty four goes twelve. Three thirty six. Three seventy eight. Three nine forty. Three one forty two. Three forty four. Forty five. That's good. Forty four pounds and ninety nine pence. Okay, three pounds seventy. That is. <laughs> this is why Hannah needs another pair of hands in the gallery, really. She's having to sort something out, which isn't her, her um, problem. Right, next. Okay, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six cave bundles to show you. I'll have to hurry up because I've only got about, well, look, 15 minutes left. They beautiful. This is lipstick. Now, this is lipstick number two. Look at the vibrancy of those colours. Now, I can see your convolulus there in the big, big one. We've got the kind of um, William Morris-esque pattern there. We've got the geometrics pattern there. We've got the ovoids there. We've got the disco pebbles without the disco. Uh, oh, yes, I have seen this one. Just fold. It's when it's folded in a different way, it looks different, doesn't it? Look, they're lovely. £42.99. pence. nice, isn't it? I've, no, I've seen the elements of it. I've seen the kind of flowers, but I've not seen it set in that one. It's nice, isn't it? So that one is lipstick. You know, cave fabrics, they're gorgeous, aren't they? Again, another new spirit, free spirit one. Uh, 42 99 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. You get 10 pieces there for 42 99 Gorgeous cave. Who are you talking to? Oh, she won't know. £42.99. Um, can you write down, just to remind me later, pattern. Just write pattern down. Only because I've got to remember to look up Helen's bag pattern um, uh, and something else. So just, and the blouse pattern for later, if I can find the blouse pattern. Okay, so that one there was lipstick number two. Right, let me put it back with the right one on the top because that's the only way Hannah can tell which is which. There you go. So then I've got the William Morris in the purple this time. <gasps> And it's the William, yeah, it's the William Morris, like I call, what I call the William Morris print on that one. It's cave, obviously. <laughs> Was that Haley? <laughs> Look, this is one of my favourite ever cave fabrics, this one. I love it. I love it. They're like Chinese chrysanthemums, aren't they? In the most exquisite colours. <sighs> this is called Peacock Number One.
Right, there you go, uh, 10 of these. 42 pounds and 99 pence. And what's the, what's the um, alternate? Oh, do you know what I haven't done? I'm busy here wafting away at my fabrics. I've got a whole storage plumbing table over there to do. Sorry. Right, OK, cave this one. Cave crisscross. Cave spot. Cave Chinese chrysanthemums in green. Cave disco mania. Cave sands of time. These are my names, by the way. Beautiful. That one is the citrus, 10 pieces, 42 pounds and 99 pence. <clears throat> Lovely. I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to rush. I didn't realise. Wafting away there quite happily. OK, next one has got convolulus in red. Now, this is a smaller bundle, this one. One, two, three, four, five. Is this just called the red pack three, 21 pack? <laughs> the camera moves as it doesn't think you're going to notice that it's moving. £21 and £99. Love these. OK, moving on. Now I've got... Now, this is the fabric. This is what... We love this. This is from his latest range, this one. I've not seen this one in the brown before. That's the Delft Pops and Urns look. Look at those. They're quite dark, aren't they, those? So this is fall 2017, six-piece fat quarter pack, 27 pounds 95 £27.95. Now, the, the stripes, are, you see, if you fussy cut these, look. It's going to look like you've got four different fabrics if you cut, like, hexes or, or little shapes from those, isn't it? 27 pounds and 95 pence. Right, one more cave to show. Oh, I keep biting my plumbing bottom lip. It's not nice. Oh, Julie, I'll get onto the books in a minute. I've just got one more cave to do here. So we've got the cloud in the magenta. I've got that, I don't know what that one's called. We've got the delf pot, we've got stripes, big leaves. And little leaves and flowers. This one's called uh, Full 2017 Pack 2. OK, I've got to move on. Right, which book does she want to see first? <laughs> Who's that from? Oh, Julie. She says, lots of love. Hurry up and do the books. Right, traditional fat quarter quilts. I like this book. Um, got traditional patterns in it, which you can cut from fat quarters. But look, you see, you can make a very, very traditional quilt like that into something very, very contemporary by using different colours, couldn't you? This is a fantastic book, this one. All these love, look, traditional quilts. Eleven pounds and ninety-nine pence. No, no. The reason I'm laughing is that I've just said exactly those two same, same two sentences as you said it, and then Hannah's just come. And you know what? They're very traditional, but you can make them with contemporary fab fabrics and make them look very contemporary. So I said it, and then Hannah went. Now, John, you must say that they look. And I, when I did, when I just went silent, she went. No, John. The. the uh, Tudor one we had hanging on the wall was a contemporary fabric. And I was like, yeah, yeah. That's it now. She's not going to speak. She's going to do a little pull. Maybe she should ring you on the landline then rather than your mobile. Hayley, ring on the landline, not the mobile, please. Traditional fat quarter quilts, 11 new projects. OK? Do you know what? That's 11 patterns for 11 99 It's brilliant, isn't it? OK, and then the other book is Fat Quarter Quick Makes. 25 projects in this one. Is that a cushion? Like a pussycat cushion? Jewelry roll. Oh, we've made that, haven't we? Oh, oh look at the owl brooch. 
I think that's what, didn't you make that one? Baby and child. Bunting. I might, I'm going to have to miss out storage at this rate, aren't I? Look, all the templates you need, $12.99. Fat quarter, quick makes. Fabulous, darling. Right, okay, now, if you're, if you're uh, like, to do crafting, oh, there they are. I've got these two fat quarter bundles. Um, I've got iris and I've got rose. Which would you like to do first? Iris first. So you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now these are a finer cotton than all the other cottons. They are still 100% cotton. Oh, that's open already, look. So you get all the lovely colours in there. This one's called iris. Ranging from grey, navy, purples, blues and white in there. Nine pounds and 99 pence. Okay. Okay. And then we've got rows. This is rows again, you get the eight fat quarters. Now you get like the cappuccino and mocha colors in this, and then the beautiful pinks. This is very good for crafting or for using as a, you know, kind of a base of a fabric. Fine, it's finer, finer cotton, nine ninety nine. Okay, I've got to go and do some storage now. Oh, now should I just mention this quickly before I go? Are there any of them left? They are the Fat Eights, Tilda Fat Eights. Last time you're going to see it, ten pounds off today. These are 20 fat eights in there. If you bought it last week, 49.99. There's one left. There's one left of those. And we're never getting them back. We're never getting them back. Can't, 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 can't. Right, where do we go quickly in the one minute I've got over here? This one? This one. Now, this, I remember this fabric being called Prantel. They called it sunflowers or some daisies or something, haven't they? Oh, dandelion, dandelion. There you go. Uh, it's a lovely bag, this one, because, uh, oh, still got the tissue in it. Uh, you get the pockets with the zips and the see-through sections. You get the, the uh, uh, one there with all the, you can put all the, the elastic, oh, hang on, there you go. You put your pens in there and you maybe you, you quick unpick your crochet hook and things like that. Then you've got another um, bigger sections with the, Lucy loved this because she loves a see-through pocket, does Lucy. And then it all comes in this lovely, lovely, lovely web-handled storage bag. So you can keep all your bits and... Do you know what would be good for if you've got um, uh, English paper piecing projects going on? You can just keep all your bits and bobs in there. If you're travelling on the train and you want to take some sewing with you, all in one bag, blue dandelion, £39.99. pence. Okay. Oh, old boxes. No, 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 I'll do these first, do these first. These ones I thought would look nice in um, Joe's house, right? This is a leather, oh, it's a suede, it's real leather, so for those of you who, you know, don't agree with it, then that, but that is, I'll just tell you, to be honest, that's all. I love these, though, look. I love organisation like that. Um, and these come out, these all come out, so you can make different sized um, sections. So if you wanted four longer sections, you could have four longer sections, or you can then put that one in, and create, it's very, very good quality. Now, there was a, it was called fu something funny, the, the wood on this one made up. So, or you could have eight medium-sized storage. And then, you can then put these in and create other areas as well for, for storage in there. There you go. Look, aren't they beautiful? And they look very, very, very exclusive, don't they? This one is the medium. This one's, they call this medium in the taupe. Nice, isn't it? Really lovely wood on that one. Twenty-eight pounds and ninety-nine pence. Would you like to see the, the slightly smaller one now, which has got like a duck egg blue top to it? Look, isn't that lovely? Nineteen ninety-nine. Nineteen ninety-nine. Now the whole of that lifts out. You want to take the whole of that and oh, that's nice. Do you know what this would be nice for? You know, like when you make memory boxes 
have things in for your memory box. Or, of course, you could just make it into um, a divider across the middle. Like that. If you just want to keep your scissors nice and neat in there or something, you could just use it as two <laughs> dividers there. I just think they're so lovely, aren't they? Really, really, really beautifully made as well. And a gorgeous present, 19 pounds and 99 pence. Okay, and that's got the duck egg blue. Very quickly, I've only got a minute left. Love this, love this canvas and bamboo storage. Now, it'll, it'll um, store like this, right? But then, when you lift the top off, you see in here, You've got four struts for the corners. You put the strut in, you've got the one touch fastening there, and it creates the most good. Now these are bamboo, this is bamboo and linen. And it's just, look, there. Exquisite, isn't it? And then the little top fits like that. I think these are gorgeous. Now we did have it in two colorways, but I've only got this one today. 29.99. I have to go. Okay. I've got to go now, but Joe Carter's coming up after the break with that lovely quilt. But I'm just being told something in my head. There may be some other news about the rabbits, but I'll let you know. Not rabbits, about the sheep, but I'll let you know when we come back. Oh, God, thanks, but I'm going to go now. I'm going to go now, if that's right, because then we can get this sorted and I can be straight back. Uh, see you in three minutes from now. Follow us on Instagram. Search for our Sewing Quarter page and follow us to get our latest posts. Love Patchwork and Quilting is the best-selling modern quilting magazine that shares your passion for fabric. We publish 13 times a year, featuring must-make projects, essential techniques, interviews, news and reviews from the world of modern quilting. Every issue also comes with a free gift. Don't forget, shopping with us is easy and simple. You can just contact us at 0800 112 4433 and speak to our UK-based call centre to place an order or shop online with us at www.sewingquarter.com. Join us on Monday the 12th of February for a magical morning with infamous toy creator Jo Carter as she shares her brilliant new toy with us the cutest fire-breathing dragon you'll ever see. First seen in Simply Sewing magazine, Joe Carter's soft dragon toy is available in two colors, flame red and monster green. The kit comes with everything you need to make a duo of dragons, including soft toy filling and fleecy fabric. There's even black eyes and embroidery thread included so you can give the cheeky creature some character. So join us on Monday the 12th of February at 10 a.m. for a fiesta of dragons. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. It's easy to buy the products you see on our shows. To buy any of the items featured on today's programmes, just head over to our website www.sewingquarter.com. Click on the video stream and you'll be taken to our watch page. Here you'll find the product that is on air right now at the top of the page. Beneath that, you'll find all the products demonstrated in this morning's shows. To add an item to your basket, simply log into your account or register with us. Then you can either check out or keep shopping. Remember, our flat rate delivery charge lets you shop all day and check out as many times as you like and only pay once for postage and packing. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Join us on Wednesday the 14th of February when Victoria Peat will be here to make a stylish patchwork poof from Simply Sewing magazine. This practical addition to your home decor uses a fun foundation paper piecing method which Victoria demonstrates along with her top tips and professional techniques for perfect results. 
Once you know how simple it is, you can snap up one of our kits complete with step-by-step -step instructions. We've got fabric options to suit everyone. So tune in and prepare to transform your home on Wednesday the 14th of February at 10 a.m. only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78 and Sky Channel 678. There are many ways you can watch Sewing Quarter. We are live every day on Freeview Channel 78 and online at sewingquarter.com from 8 a.m. till 12 noon. But if you've missed a show, don't worry. There are two easy ways to catch up. The first is through our website, www.sewingquarter.com, where we repeat that morning's shows throughout the day. On the homepage, you'll see our video stream. Click on the video to hear sound and see a list of the products that we have shown in that day's shows. The second way to catch up is on our YouTube channel. All our shows are kept on YouTube, so if you buy a product and want to see the demonstration again, you can. Go to www.youtube.com forward slash sewing quarter where you'll find all our shows listed by date. Select your preferred date. Then, using the description beneath the video, jump to the hour you want to watch. Then you can pause, rewind, play and skip your way to the bits that you want to watch again. Only on Sewing Quarter, Freeview Channel 78. Well, it's all been going, oh, blimey, that's right. It's all been going on over the break. Now, first thing and most important thing, and I think heads will roll for this, the spend and save, oh, we'll take it out now, is that, you know, I said it was, uh, it's brilliant because it's on the telly, it's on the web, it's, on, it's all weekend. Right, today, today, it's on the telly, it's on the web, it's machines, it's everything apart from gift vouchers, but tomorrow, it's only now on the web. Apparently it always was. We were just given the wrong information this morning. I, I don't know what it says on your email either. We need to check that as well. So if you want to buy anything from, well, it's, it, tomorrow, it's only things on the web. Now, I know I told you I had a sewing machine show tomorrow and to use your spend and save. You won't be able to on the telly one because they'll be on the web, it's only web purchases that you can get it on tomorrow. So if you want to buy a sewing machine, I'd get if you're going to buy 680, my own personal opinion, no undue pressure or anything like that, I'd buy it today and get Joe's, Joe's kits all involved in it because you'll also get your spend and save. Um, that's the first thing, and I do apologise profusely, and I will be causing a fuss on your behalf when I come off air uh, today. I don't know who's made that mistake, but that, there, will, there will be problems. Uh, oh, and also, 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 the other thing about today is a few people have messaged you and said, oh, I can't get the code to work, can't get the code to work. What's also going to happen is you don't need to worry about the code for today. What will happen is at midnight, when they consolidate, that's the word, Hannah, consolidate, all of your baskets, they will automatically take off what your spend and save is. So just keep spending all day long up until just before midnight. They will consolidate your baskets today and they will take the money off that you are owed. Right. Now, a bit of good news now. Bit of... Uh, well, I say a bit of good news. I say a bit of good news. I'll just put that back there for a second. Right. What I've got to tell you is, you know we sold out with about 100 people missing out on the lambs earlier. We've kind of brought another compromise for you. So, uh, in, we've brought a different colourway bundle. So, instead of the pumpkin and the green, you will get in this bundle, you will get yellow spot on and blue spot on. So instead of the, the papaya or the pumpkin and the green earlier, these are the two colours you're going to get. You still get your um, dimple fleecy. You still get your fleecy fleecy. You still get your thread and you still get your embroidery thread and you still get your instructions, but you don't get any eyes in this one. So like I said earlier, if you've got a young child and you want to embroider the eyes on, but you aren't going to get enough of the embroidery thread to embroider the eyes on as well. But it's a, it's a lower price. It's a lower price, isn't it? Because because the eyes aren't in because the eyes aren't in there. We've taken that off the price. So twenty three pounds and forty nine pence. You'll still get. I, I will in a minute. I will in a minute because um, I will in a minute. 
So you get in this one, you get your fleece, you get your dimple, you get your lemon, you get your blue, you get your instructions, you get your thread, and you get your embroidery thread. 23 pounds and 49 pence, okay? And this, if you did miss it earlier, is what you can make. So you get the, the different colors for your ears, and so the, before you got the green or, and the papaya, now you get blue and yellow. That's the only difference, that's the only, oh, and the eyes, you don't get the eyes, obviously. But you can embroider, and I said, didn't I, earlier about embroidering the eyes. Did we hear back from the buying department? Okay, I'll find out, I'll find out for you. Okay, something wrong? Say this again. Yes, yes, that's why I, Okay, 23 pounds and 49 pence. I'll tell you afterwards, Hannah. Okay, right, now let's, let's do that. Put that away, put that away, put that away, put that away, put that away. Because it's now time for the Galaxy Quilt. And let me go and do bundles, Joan. I'll be back okay. straight with you. I'll be straight back with you. So, I have got this. Um, to do the front of the quilt, I've got two colorways for you. So, in the bundle, you get the instructions, which feel, I will open one of these in a minute, they feel uh, there's a lot of instructions in there. So you get the instructions, you get the, the bond web, you get the thread, okay, um, you, well you get, you get 310 with this one, so I don't know where the thread's gone for this one. Yeah, Wendy. Uh, and then look, all these fabrics. You get half a metre of the Michael Miller stars in green, half a metre, half a metre of the red linear, half a metre of the bright yellow, half a metre of the bright blue, half a metre of the grass green, uh, half a metre of the red stars, half a metre of the spray time cream, half a metre of the grey. You get half a metre of all of those. Then you get a metre of the star with the gold on it. You get a metre of the blue star and you get two metres of the dark blue for the background. So 91 pounds and 99 pence for all of that. You do get the thread and you do get the bond web and the instructions as well. Okay, there it is, 91 pounds and 99 pence for that whole bundle, right? There's the, uh, there's the, we were gonna drop the quilt down a little bit, but we haven't had time in the break. It was a bit too chaotic. Right, now that's if the, you want the rocket taking off at night time. If you want the rocket taking off at daytime, then we have this gorgeous bundle. So again, you get the instructions, you get the bond web, you get the thread, the pale blue thread this time. And then in this bundle, you get half a meter of the linear yellow, half a meter of the spot on green, half a meter of the bright orange, half a meter of the gray, half a meter of the antique white, half a meter of heron gray, half a meter of aqua, <gasps> half a meter of gorgeous spray time green, half a meter of spray time blue, a meter of aeroplanes on, back, on the white background, a meter of the aeroplanes on the blue background, and two meters of the pale blue for the sky. That one's, eight, oh, that's a good price, 81 pounds and 49 pence. Uh, and, and, all, and everything that goes with it, everything that goes with it. Right, while I'm here, I know it's got, no, it's got not, Joe's not gonna be making the robot, but her robot toy is so popular. We've done a little bundle just for that, because we thought if you're gonna make that as a quilt, this would be lovely to have as like on the bedside table or on the bed or something like that. Now, obviously your colorway isn't this colorway. We just, uh, we've just put that on there to show you what he looks like. Ooh. Right, what you get in the bundle of this one for $31.99 is you get a zip for his mouth, you get embroidery thread, you get normal thread, you get the instructions, right? And then you also get half a meter of the blue, half a meter of like the petrol uh, linear, half a meter of the orange linear, <laughs> and this. So we've, <laughs> it's a piece of white. But that's for here, look, that's for here. We just thought of everything. That's for here, for his face, look. Now, you, do you not get the eyes in this one, then? Oh, you do get eyes in this one. You do get eyes in this one. Hang on, Joe's got them. Oh, Joe's nicking things out of my basket. <laughs> Thank you. There you go, you get the eyes as well. <laughs> There's the still coming up now. Oh, well. Right, okay, I'm coming back. Right, come on, we've got to get on. Um, 
Your boys want... Oh, are they on their way? They are due any time. Oh, well, they just went, you know, to answer the door when they get here. Yes. I'm Bring them straight on. <laughs> um, yeah, like Sleb, she's got a red carpet and everything. Both your boys want this, don't they, on their they bed? Do. Have a look at the top. Keep going. Can you pan up on that one? Oh! There's the top of the rocket. So you've got 987654321 down the sides. You've got the great big rocket going up in the middle. You've got the night sky on this one. And then, I don't know if you can see at the bottom. Can you see right at the bottom? You've got the Earth. That's the planet Earth down there. There it is, look. So, obviously you're not going to make the whole quilt now. What are you going to show us in this um, section? I'll do a number. Oh, it's up there. The number four. <laughs> only because it's... I thought it was the trickiest of the numbers. Oh, really? Now, you'd have thought that would have been the easiest, wouldn't you, four? Oh, they're all quite square, square numbers, though, aren't they? They are all really easy to do. The four, only because you need to line up the... OK. So we're going to make the number four. And then these... The flames are foundation paper oh, piece. Oh, OK, OK. So we'll show you how to do that. And I'll show how to do... The fins, because they're rectangles that we... They get on with it then, haven't we? Uh, now, now, oh, well. now, the instructions are very, very, very thorough. They're printed up. Look, how many, look at the instructions. Oh, you get pages of instructions. I'll turn them around this way. Look, 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 look. Oh, there's number four. Oh, it's got all the numbers. And we'll just come in on that. Look. All the instructions, all the cutting instructions. These have got out of order, obviously. Um, placing. Placing, how to do it, put it all together. They're really, really, really thorough. Okay, now, um, please be careful. Oh, right, okay, I'm going to ask something now. I'm going to ask something now so we can be ahead of ourselves. Get all of that. Half the stock of the nighttime one's gone already. Can we get scheduling or whoever it is to make an, if we haven't, to either make more or make an equivalent of it so we've got more to go to? So we haven't got to wait. Oh, she's already on it. I knew she would be. She's already on it. So, so at the moment, half the stock of this blue one's gone. But I promise you, we'll get more. I'll get more made up. There might be a couple of tweaks in the fabric, but I'll get more made up. Or Hannah will get more made up. Right, off you go then. Oh, I've, do you need this? I'll, it might be helpful. Yeah. I'll just put this one on the stand so it looks like they're all here. Good morning to everyone in the studio. This is my first time contacting you, but I love to watch you all. I love the daftness. <laughs> Honestly, Linda, but thank you very much. You can there, Linda, you can message me if you like. It's that kind of show. It is a good show for daftness. Where's this come from? Uh, I think I that think was a sheep. From a sheep yeah. That was from a sheep. That's there. No. Right, go. Okay, it's designed by Lynn Goldsworthy. Yes. Who's fat. I'm a big fan. She's, uh, her quilts are amazing. Um, everything's really well laid out. When I got these instructions and I saw how thick they were, and I thought, I've got to make this really yeah. quickly. <laughs> but actually, it walks you through each section and they're just comprehensive. It's not complicated yes. or anything. And this page, for the background, which is the darker blue on yeah. that one, it shows you, where is it? It's here somewhere. Exactly how to cut it out. Oh, so, From, oh, so because you, it's not just one, it's not just one piece, big piece of fabric with a rocket. It's a not. Plique it's, done. it's all done as blocks and everything. It's all pieced. Yeah. So you can see here, these are all the cutting. This is how you have to cut all the pieces out just for the blue background. So I'm presuming this is the fabric out and this is all your pieces, these are all the bits you have to cut on yeah. top of it. Cut strips with the fabric strips to these depths. And then here, And then subcut them. Brilliant. Okay. So we're not doing that, so I, that one can stay there. So I'll start with. No. I've chosen number four only because we need to line that bit up. Okay, let's find number four in the instructions. There it is, just in case you need it. So again, has it told you all the sizes to cut out? It has. I love Linda's message, all the darkness. <laughs> uh, right, step seven to make the number four. So it says, so a two and a half by three inch. Oh yes, it's got them all. It's got all the instructions you need for four. Was that four I've just read or five? Yes, that's four. Yeah, all that four, all there. And then all, even, look, the drawing of how to put it together. So now you've seen the drawing, now see it in real life. Also, when you get the fabric, allocate, put it all out. I write um, and put a note on each of them, which is which fabric, just so I don't get lost. Yes. Because you need five solid fabrics, or pretty much like there's a linear one in that one. Um, for, for, for which one? Did, this one. Oh, it, oh, oh, for the for around the squares, because obviously all of them have got, you've got more of this one. You've got a metre of that fabric in there. So you have two metres of this fabric. 
You got a meter of that fabric and you had a meter of this fabric and then the rest are all half a meter. Yeah. So you can then move, you could move all the other colors round, but those you need to save for that one, that one and that one. They'll have, so that has to be the dark blue in the background. You can't it, do anything else. It does, and with, and, this, yeah. with this one, it's the lighter sky. Oh yes, the one you're doing is the pale blue sky for the, for the daytime, yes, exactly. Okay. Okay, so I've cut out the sections and actually because two numbers are done in one colour and then another two numbers are done in another colour, actually they're almost colour coded once you start, you realise uh, okay. that sort of, you think, oh, there's going to be lots of strips for the numbers, but because they're in different okay. colours, that makes right. it easier. Okay, so I'm going to sew these together just exactly the way it says. Okay, so you sew, oh, I see, so you make three, three, three rows, basically. Yes, so some numbers have more piecing, more pieces in than others. Um, Jackie says, I'm really looking forward to Joe's Dragon Make on Monday. Oh, you should... We have to, what we have to do is we have to get it, get it out before you go home. We have to show you Dragon that you've made. Uh, so, saving my pennies. I joined you since Sky Shank. Love Joe's stuff, but she does seem to have... Then Jackie gets cut off. What does she seem oh, to no. have? I bet she's going to put... She does seem to have the short straw to work with John all the time or something <laughs> like that. Do you think it says, Jackie, what, what, what did you want to say? I love Joe's stuff. Oh, yeah, that could be it. Has she really become a diva, it says, apparently? Two trolleys now. Two trolleys. She's two trolleys Carter now. Um, let me know, Jackie, what the rest of the question was, or the rest of the statement was, and I can tell Joe. Oh, I was watching when, when you called me a diva. So. Oh. <laughs> Oh, what, I call you every day. <laughs> <laughs> and before you write in, we're friends. It's a joke. It's banter. I okay. hope. <laughs> I've heard what you call me anyway, so it's fine. I, I, we asked her to do a John Scott um, doll, right? And she went, oh, he's got no redeemable features, John. That was not what But I they're said. making a Lucy one. Or no, they're not making Lucy. They want to make a Lucy one. They want to make a Derek one. You've made an Alan Wicker one. Maybe, actually. That's too late now. Just okay, make the um, I'm going to press these oh. seams. I oh. know. I... <laughs> Are you indeed? <laughs> you to play... the what was Linda saying about it being chaotic? <laughs> uh, Wendy, the eye mask gets switched on in the brink as well. <laughs> oh. Somebody's put a new um, adapter thing on. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I'll get it out for you now. F. Oh, dear. Completely new to quilts and techniques. Any tips for newbies? I want to make a lap quilt or kneeling quilt. I'm not asking me, they're asking you. Um, my biggest tip would be just read through the instructions first and make sure you know before you go at it with a rotary cutter, you really know what you're cutting out. And yeah. The thing is, F, I don't know, uh, F, I, before I started, my, my background is in dressmaking and um, couturier and things like that. So I was like, oh, I won't get into this quilting. It's not, you know, it's not nothing to do with me. I, I'm absolutely hooked on it now. But you look at some of the quilts that, that this lot make and you think, oh, I'd never, I'd never be able to do that. But actually, if you read about it and learn how to do half square triangles, learn the rules and everything, it's actually not trying to belittle you at all. No, but no. once you know the rules, it's actually quite simple, isn't it? It is. So I would start, if you've not made one before, F, I would start off with just literally making, putting squares together to learn how to match corners and, and, and to square off and everything. And then I'd learn how to do half square triangles. Oh, do you agree with me? I'm just, Absolutely. I'm just, and, then, and then slowly introduce, don't go for the first quilt to be a really complex one with all like, you know, kind of all different things in it. Just keep it simple and just, you'll learn as you go along. I made, oh, it's gone, they've taken it down. I made a, a kaleidoscope log cabin for, and I loved it. it. It took a while for me to get around it, but just go with the simple ones to start with. And then, and they can be so effective depending on the fabric you use. Um, Jennifer says, would this pattern make, hang on, would this pattern be more for someone who's more advanced? Cause I'd love to make it. This one here, that's Jennifer. No, I think, I mean, if you, conf if you approach anything with confidence, but it's lots of straight lines. I'm trying to think if there is. The, the only thing would be would it maybe the foundation, for somebody who's never done it before, yes. with the fact, did you say that's foundation? These triangles are foundation paper piece. But then once you get the hang of that technique, it's not difficult, it's just, just thinking about because things it's in different, a different way. It's different, right, let's get on, let's get on so we can cover all those. Jennifer, keep watching. And also with quilting, getting an accurate quarter inch Theme, it makes a huge difference. So if you've got a quarter inch um, foot on your, on your um, not a computer, is it? Yeah. Sewing machine. Or you've got one where you can move the needle across so you know that it's quarter of an inch. Because it really is important. The, um, 
that's what I couldn't get over with. I thought, oh, Patrick, you just sew a load of things together. But it's not that, is it? It's absolute precision of cutting and sewing together, isn't it? It is. Because yeah. if, if I take too much here, then it won't fit to this piece. Yes, and yeah. So I'll give this a quick press. Oh, yes, you can do now. It's warm enough now. <laughs> press the seams. It, sa it says in the instructions, either whichever way you want, either open or to one side. Oh, OK. When I did that one, because the background was darker, I pressed the seams to the darker fabric. So actually, maybe with this one, should I try it this way? Do whatever. You're the expert. Well, I'll, I'll stick with the way I've used yes. to. Don't ever change, Don't change for it us. Now. Yeah, exactly. Um, OK, oh, blimey, Joe. This one's sold out already, right? But, but, but we've got an alternative. So in a minute, when Wendy set up the alternative, I'll, show, I'll take you through the alternative one. Oh, blimey. So what are you doing now? Oh, you're just, you're just I'm just doing the popping next pins in. I mean, they're not cut on the bias, so they should be fine, but I don't want... I don't want it to go awry. No, especially if you've got family on the way in. I know, I know the Oh, pressure. Wendy, you're on door duty as well. Do they know to ring the bell? Yes. Mike on cameras this morning was like knocking on the door like this. We've got a great big doorbell, which you press it, right? Even when you answer the door, it keeps going. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. And I went to the dressing room and all I could hear was like, I was like, what's that, what's that noise? Mike, cameraman outside said, oh, I didn't want to ring the doorbell. He could have been standing there forever if I hadn't gone to the, to the dressing room at that time. Right, OK, um, don't sew anything. Okay. Do you want to press that? I'll give that a press. Don't do anything else, though. Uh, come with me, come with me, because that bundle is sold out. But we've made another one, but there's a couple of, a couple of differences, a couple of differences. So you still get the full-on uh, instructions, exactly the same instructions. You get the thread, the same thread. You get the bonder web, right? But then in this bundle, what you get is you get half a metre of the green. Oh, I can see a difference now. You get a grey spot on, half a metre. You get the red, you get the yellow, you get the blue, you get the green, you get the red stars. You get a lovely kind of creamy uh, spray time. I was going to say splash time, and I was like, I knew that wasn't right. Half a metre of the grey. Then in this one, you still get the stars fabric, you still get a metre of the stars fabric, you still get a metre of that blue, and you still get your two metres of the blue. So the only difference, really, is there's a couple of these... I've just changed, uh, changed, like you've got a grey spot and a couple of extra spectrum solids. I think that's all the difference is, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, I see. No, I, you know what it is? Is you don't get the grey... You don't get the grey stars in this one. You get green stars and you get red stars, but you get grey spot. There you go. There you go. So it's almost identical. Almost identical. Uh, 9149. But please check. That's a, that'll be a new code, won't it? It was that, is that, that's a different code to the one... Yeah, different code, different code, different code. So, so all it is, yeah, yeah, all it is, is in here, you'll have, your, you maybe have your grey spot... Oh, you can't see that, sorry. It's too high, this quilt today, isn't it? You most probably got a grey... You've put your grey spot in there and on there. I think that's the only difference, really, isn't it? Right. Oh, now they're limited as well. <laughs> oh, Joe. <laughs> right, OK. Um, also, check. That you don't, it wants the smaller rectangle on the left. Don't accidentally get that turned the wrong way around and sew this strip. Oh, because you think you'd be in the wrong place, yes. And then they definitely wouldn't line up. Yeah. So okay. Right, so I'm going to sew this section onto the top. Okay. And it's really nice, straightforward sewing to make the numbers. Yes. I'm away for most of... Ne is it next week? I'm away what day are we on? Saturday, Sunday? Yeah, next week. I'm not in Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Saturday. Oh, yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I'm not in next week. So I hope they've got the air con sorted about. The quilt is so on trend for our family. We're off to NASA. Oh, wow. Just bought lots of summer bundles with our lovely flamingos in it. Uh, but I don't care. Oh, hang on. But I don't dare buy any... And then it's run out. Oh, we, we have to get that sorted, don't we? On trend for the family, NASA. How brilliant. Oh, don't tell your boys that. That'll be where they'll want to go next. Haven't they just sent... Hasn't the big... Uh, not lorry, what do they call Rocket just gone up. Like a Tesla with a car in it and everything, yeah. There was, a. Because you know the Tesla garage is just around the corner there. It, yeah. It's in Congress, we're in this kind of, you know, salubrious neighbourhood. Is that the right word? Dodgy. 
and uh, you get to the end of the road, and there's a Tesla carriage with bright lights and everything. Right, sorry. Okay, so I'll sew this strip. On. I'll give this a quick press. Sew this onto the side. Okay. And with the numbers, once the actual number section is done, they're then sashed essentially with strips okay. of this background fabric and then with this solid. Okay, if you are new and you haven't made a quilt before, a sash is a section that goes between two blocks. So you see you've got the number two and the number one there. This section between the two and the one, that's called a sash. So it's just that section there. See how much I've learned in the year. I meant to, did I mean a border then, really, rather than a... So, because sashing is to join blocks, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but you've, you've, sat, you've joined those two blocks, haven't you? Yes, but these strips here... So I made all of the oh, numbers... Oh, sorry, those bits there. I thought you were talking about the number two numbers. And then added the borders on either side. And oh, above, yes, those are... Yeah. And then those ones. So you meant a border. I meant a border. And I then did. you put a sash between the numbers. Yes. <sighs> Even the expert can't get it right. It's a good job you're here. That's hardly. <laughs> But I did all the numbers and then all the borders I put, I put on in one go. Right, oh, I see. So you got, you got the actual outline of the number, like this bit here, and then you just did nine, ten, ten borders. <sighs> OK, the bundle we just delivered, there's only two left. But the daytime, the daytime one, rockets take off in the daytime. Top part. There's your daytime bundle, which is the one that Joe's working on now, actually. Also, remember on the daytime bundle, it's the it only appears you've got directional fabric. Your aeroplane fabric is directional, isn't it? It is. So when I pop these on in a little bit, these ones on the side do go. Oh, okay. In a different. Although yeah. I quite like the movement. That creates. Yeah. Do you not? No, no, I agree. I can just see your brain whizzing again. Now, why, why should I say I've cut it like that? Was there enough no, to no, cut I it did. the other way? If you, oh, no, because no, you wouldn't be, ever be able to get it going the right way, would you, anyway? Oh, yes, you would. No, Because uh, that, that panel there is going in a different direction, anyway. Your whole, your whole um, frame is going in a different direction. Actually, these go on the side if I'm. Do you want them all going in the same? No, no, I, I, I'm just reading the instructions. Right, I'll give these two a press. I've just joined the bottom one. And it is, the numbers, it's all straight lines. It's nice and easy. Yeah. I've got an email come through from Chris. Oh, no, she's... OK, she's in hospital, waiting for her, not with her daughter, wait, with her daughter, Rebecca. Waiting for a minor operation. Who's having, who's having the operation? Rebecca or... Anyway, she's having an operation on her thumb. Watching the Sound Quarter live on YouTube. Oh, thumbs up, Rebecca. I was already done it, hadn't I? Oh, she, it's, only a, it's not a big operation, but we've got to do a thumbs up for thumb Rebecca. I hope it goes well, Rebecca, my love. Don't be frightened, they're brilliant. Oh, she loves. I tell you what, that sewing quarter fan page is. So, are you on it? The fan page. It's so I popular, am. and aren't people talented? It's amazing the things that are on there. I know. I better start putting some of my makes on there, don't I? Well, I could put my lasagna from last <laughs> night. Ooh, do what? <laughs> <laughs> I do apologise. Hannah's just. I can't repeat it on air. I'll tell you later. There we go. I chose the four only because you did, to line up that section. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Through the, the vertical section. If you wanted to make the numbers multicoloured, you could do that, couldn't you? You could, but you, that would be difficult when you're cutting the strips out because it's quite specific in the instructions from this colour uh, and you don't necessarily uh, know. you don't know which bit's which. Yes, so that might be a bit... Mind you, the five and the six look identical, apart from one extra little bit. And the know? two and the five are the same, but the pieces are laid out... Differently. ..slightly differently. Mm. 
whereabouts is NASA? Is it in the desert? Is it like Las Vegas -y place? I don't know where it is. I don't know. H Hannah. It's what? Oh, she thinks it's in Texas. Houston. Oh, yeah, it's Houston, oh, NASA. Yeah. Yes. There okay. is one. I got all the numbers to that point. OK, and then, and then you, did, you framed them all. Right, OK. I've got them going the right way. The blue ones are facing in on that one. Yeah, yeah, that's but right. I like this print behind the numbers. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? And then, once that's done, which is that my shorter strip or my longer one? And then do the same with the sides. Oh, of course, because your, your, your outside board is the same as your number, isn't it? Yeah. And they're like buttons, aren't they? On a... Yes, like a computer or a calculator. OK. There we go. So you'd make up all your numbers like that before you do anything else. You make up your 10 numbers like that. Yes, and then once they're done, um, join them sash. together, sash them together in columns. But make sure you've got, because I had all the way through making this, I thought, what if at the end I finished it and quilted it and bound it and one of the numbers is the wrong way up? I was really <laughs> panicked that I'd put the two in the wrong way round oh, or something no. like that. So and the amount of times I checked. So when you join them in columns, make sure the numbers oh, are in the right order, order yes. but there is a picture to follow as well. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Well. With the button, it's the sides and then top, I think, but it's all in the okay. instructions. Okay, so you do all your numbers and all your frames, your numbers, and then you've sashed them together, so you've got two... So it's... Oh, the, the, okay, the nighttime one's now sold out. So you've got your two... These two columns... Your two columns are those... So you've made those, both of those columns now. So where are we going next? The next bit, I should do it in the order that's in the instructions, really. Should if you wouldn't mind. We only have the daytime. In fact, you do that. I'll do, I'll do it. I'll help Wendy. I'll go and move it now. I'll show you the bundle of the daytime one. We've only got the daytime one left now, which is the one that Joe's working on. One that Joe's working on at the moment. Only got the daytime bundle left. Okay, for the fins and the top of the rockets, it's sorry. What? What's they called? Are they not fins? I don't know. It, I... Is it a fin on the bottom of a rocket? It says fins. I'm, I'm going with oh, the instructions. Okay. Fins. Okay. Flippers. <laughs> yes. I always it. struggle with that with dolphins. <laughs> well, are they really called fins? You don't hear them saying, oh, the rock is taking off my fins. It sounds a bit... Do you just say to walk to repair a fin? <laughs> that was me doing my Houston impression. Anyway, carry on, carry on. Which bit are we doing now? The sections for the top of the rocket okay. and the fins. Okay. Yeah, I knew that because we just talked about fins. I don't know why I had to ask that again. <laughs> And here's the diagram. OK. Let's just grab the through. Like, in the instructions, we want to cut them. Oh, hang on. Shall I bring that in? There you go. These are the instructions here. OK. Look at Joe's face. <laughs> Guess he's just walked into the studio. Come on in. Come on in. Say hello to your mum very quickly. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to introduce? This is Aidan. Aidan. Hello, Aidan. And this is Rowan. Oh, <laughs> look. Hello. <laughs> Can you see a Is there not there? another one? No, the other <laughs> one's not coming in. God, don't they look like their dad? Yes. <laughs> well. They're not like me at all. No. <laughs> so you're on telly now. You better tell all your friends you've been on telly. Oh, don't watch them. There's some rotary cuts. There's dangerous things up there. Have you got a full suit on? Almost, haven't you? Oh. All right, let Mummy finish the thing and then you can come on again at the end if that's all right. Is that okay? Okay. Oh, they're not bunting down on all sorts. Oh, they're so smart and well behaved, <laughs> aren't they? Okay. <laughs> Anna wants one now, she said. Oh. Right, okay. Oh, I'm a bit flustered. Oh, there. are you all right? Yeah. You only saw them this morning. <laughs> I know. It's not like, uh, what, not Love Island, that's right. So it's not like, um, what's the one where they all go in the house? Big Brother okay. house, and you haven't seen them, you're reading your letter and you're crying. They've only been in a week and they're like, oh, what? Oh. <laughs> anyway. No one had cl climbed into bed in the middle of the night. I left them and they sort of rolled over to exactly where I vacated this oh. morning when I got up. I've just got, I can hear them going up the stairs to the gallery now. <laughs> oh, <no>. <laughs> Oops, now. <laughs> okay. Right, okay. Right, these sections for the fins. Yes. This is the grey fabric for the fins yes. and this is the background. And we want to cut these diagonally. But 
as a mirror image. So don't cut them both that way. It shows in the instructions. Oh, yes, yeah, so it's like doing your ears. You need to, you need to do one. One, oh, one right. way, yes, exactly. one the other. So I'll do that. Well, no, not that, because when we did the lamb's ears earlier, we said you do one one way and one the other way. Hannah's going, why is he saying ears? She switched my microphone off now. There we go. Children, don't go up there. That's it. That guy doesn't seem to think there's a wicked witch at the top of the <laughs> tower. Because those are quick. You should have seen her the other day. You know how she normally comes in and what, what she's rolled out of bed in, right? Tula pinks in. Up, she's already waiting on the, not Tula, Hannah's already waiting on the side of the street in her village, right? Fully made up, hair done, outfit, everything, the whole works. I loved the Tula shows. They were brilliant, weren't they? She was, ex they she was so brilliant. I was really nervous as well, but she was brilliant. Really inspirational. Yeah. I loved that she said she's not worried about bad ideas because every, for every bad idea, you're just then closer to a good one. Exactly, exactly. And how brilliant to, to uh, get a new notepad and scribble on the front page because that's your, nothing can be worse than you scribble on your front page sort of thing. You can watch them all on YouTube, by the way, if you want to, if you miss the Tula shows. Sorry, Hannah. I've got a message for Joe. Oh, oh, Joe, aren't they adorable? Don't they look like you? Oh. I don't know, it hasn't come through here. Don't know who's, from, who's it from? Say it again. Sean. They, I always get, I don't they look like their dad. <laughs> but I think it's only because they all three look like three naughty school children when they were standing well, there. A bit sheepish in the yes, corner. Yes, yeah. Anyway, I suppose it's because they've got pale hair. Pale hair. They're like, pale. like, like hair and the husband's got, the husband. <laughs> Your husband's got light hair and you've got such dark yes. hair, that could be one. Anyway, let's move on. Right, so I'm going to pair them up now and yes. sew them together oh, but like this. And go on. Yeah. No, no, go, 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 go first. It is cut along the bias, but I have the template, it's all right. It's on the floor, I'll try not to That's trip it. myself up. So I'll sew them together, but then they're trimmed down and these lines are used. Oh, okay, okay, scene. okay, okay, right, okay. So I'll stay one of these quickly. Yeah. But they are on the bias, um, and then does it matter about matching the ends then, if you're cutting them down, or is there enough? It doesn't matter too much about okay. matching the ends. So I... this is, if, you've not, if you're not used to doing sewing, this is one place you do have to look at, because obviously being on the bias, they're going to stretch a little bit. NASA is in Orlando, Florida. Well, they do say Houston, we have a problem. But that Houston's not in Texas, is it? Maybe there's two Houstons. Anyway, thank you, Julie, my love. She loves the show. Oh, if you want to, oh, blimey, if you want to watch the day the robot was made, that was the 31st of May. I thought you'd done it more I've recently done, then. I think I've done did it. Did you make it, or did we just show it? I don't know. No, no, 31st of May they made it, but I'm just saying since then, I feel we've had a robot kit since then. Mind you, I did a show one day without you, I just did all of your toys. So I had a robot in that day with, with, with no making. I didn't bother making them because I didn't want to show you off. Did you know? Thanks. Because I'd have made all 10 of them in the hour, you know. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so I'll give that a press to one side and it might actually be easier because we're lining up. I'm going to press this one open and I, I did on the quilt. And so do four of these. OK. Why four? There's two to make up. The fins. The fins, and then two. Oh, they're, so they're it's the same piece at the top, just the other the way centre. around. And then you can use this template and trim. Oh, there's plenty to trim down then, so you don't have to worry about the corners and things. No. So it's not where it looks like a long bias seam. Yes. It's fine. So with this, I draw, so I don't cut into the template. I draw around yes. it and then cut it out. And then you've got your four sections for the fins. But again, really clearly laid out in the instructions. They are yeah. brilliant. So then what you do is you'd make, so you'd, you've made two, you'd make two of those for the two fins at the bottom there. And then yes. for the top, you make two and sew them together to create the, so the point at the top. Is that the way it works? It'd be like that. Yeah. That'd be the top of the rocket. We've got the daytime yeah. sky behind. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Who's that from? Susan. Susan says they are launched in NASA, in Florida, but the office, what's it called? 
Ground Control to Major Tom is in Houston, t Texas. Ah. I've got it now. I uh, love the quilt suit. Thank you. Right. OK, so... I've learned something. So you see what I mean? There we are. What, what was it they said? It was chaotic, the channel. You learn something new every day, don't you? OK, so we've done the top, we've done the fins, and we've done the numbers. And now let's I'll... do the flames, don't we? Do the oh, flames. Yeah, the time. And because the templates are on really lovely thick paper, I've... Photocopied them. Copied them onto normal paper. Now, for people who are new, this is a completely different technique for making... Uh, it's not like you, you, do, you don't sew triangles together, so I'll let, I'll let joke. So it's called foundation paper piecing. It is. And you do it in a different... To, com, the rules are completely different. I need to make sure I've got all the right pieces now. Right. With this one, it's the red, this lovely orangey, flamey colour. Yeah. And then you use these as rectangles. Because that's, the, that's so the sky, yes. Either side. Yeah. But this one, it's these pieces and um, to cut these across like we did with the fin pieces it's just a bit too it's a bit too long and thin yeah but with these ones we trim these down okay so how does it actually work then right I so like hang on use... so so th this one here is the middle one so that's going to be red and they're going to be blue but on this one here that's going to be blue and they're going to be yellow no, this one's going to be yellow oh, okay i got confused there sorry so oh, okay, so it's the same. It's the same thing, right? Okay, like that. Right, brilliant. And then, so we're working. We're going to sew with this design on top, and we want the fabric on the back. Okay. Now I like to use. I will pin it in place, but also I like to use a sew line. Okay. Blue pen. Blue pen. They're available on the website. Just going to put some on the back of the template to hold that in okay. position and then this section you could if you were a bit worried about um, doing this cut these pieces a little bit bigger okay and then you've got a bit more to play so with. you're putting it on the back of the template and it's then the wrong side of the fabric goes to the glue yes wrong side of the fabric to the wrong side of the paper okay and I'm just going to hold this up I'll probably pin it as well okay I'm just going to hold this up to the light to make sure that this orange section covers all of the templates, Oops, I need to move it down a little bit. I need it to cover all of the triangular section and have the seam allowances around the sides right. as well. So I'll check that to the light. And that does cover all this section now. Okay. But if you cut it a little bit bigger, you've got more room. So the one you've cut is exactly the, size, the same size as that dotted line there, is it? Yes, I yeah. think it's only a tiny bit okay. bigger. Okay. Okay, and then the way I do it is with some card. I did put some here. Okay. Before. What coloured card did you have? I like your filing system today. <laughs> it's all fallen out. <laughs> and your two tries. I did, I did, yes. <laughs> two tries. I need three. Um, I like a bit of card. So okay. I've covered section one. Love Patrick quilting one of our sister magazines, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> That's the yellowy orange flame. That's section one, and I want to join yeah. section two. So this line joining these two sections. I put the card here only because it helps me fold perfectly along that line. Oh, so you haven't done any stitching or anything. You've literally okay. just glued it down to where it needs to be. Yes. Yeah. And okay. I'm going to trim this now with the other quarter. Oh, you trim now. Yes, I need to trim these down in okay. a minute to fit. Uh, the ruler is fantastic because it's got, it's called an add a quarter inch ruler. It's got a little ridge bit at the end here, which is a quarter of an inch. So you can nestle that against the edge of your paper and you know that that's exactly a quarter of an inch. This is why it doesn't matter if you cut the piece of fabric too big because you're going to actually trim it down to the size it needs to be, aren't you? Yes. So I'll cut along there. Oh, you get both, you get... Oh, no, that's just one ruler there, $15.99. We have got a small one in stock as well, but that's the bigger one there, $15.99. OK. And these sections, I hope I've got the right one that I'm cutting. If oh. not, I'll use a full one. I'm just going to cut this on the diagonal. There's two of these, so we want to cut them in opposite directions. Right. So you do actually cut that in the diagonal before you start. You don't just put a piece, straight piece on there. So I do both these. I've cut that one that way. OK. And I cut this one yeah. going in the opposite direction. Okay. And these sections will go, line them up here. And I'm going to machine sew down here. And then when 
it's opened out, it will fold over. To create the rest of the square. And it will fold perfectly to the line with a little bit extra, maybe. Yeah. Just I'll line that up. So bring those edges together, flip the paper over. Oh, you sew, oh, I always see, see you sew. Oh. And you sew along the line. Right, OK. So I'll put that on. Can you not sew from the other side? No, because you, you want to sew on the line, don't you? And I'll just fold the paper back and check that those edges line up. And then with a 1.8, 1.5 stitch length. So little stitch length. Little stitch length. That helps secure them, but also it perforates the paper so it can be torn away okay. later. So do you have to cut the triangle to go behind, or could you just sew a square on? If you didn't want to cut the triangle, use a there's plenty of fabric, use a rectangle that's bigger. Yeah. So you're sewing through the paper, through the blue fabric, and through the yellow fabric? Yes, so if I flip that over now, you can see I've joined those along there. Right. You've not done your contrasting thread, Miss. I know, I thought I had, but... Yeah. And so then, then you that fold that back. It's pressed back. That then will cover all of this section, including the seam allowance. OK. So it can be trimmed to fit later. And this is a really nice way to get a really good sharp point. Yes. So you carry on sewing past the end of the... Sorry. I do. Yeah, so, you, so your triangle actually finishes there. And you've just carried on up into the seam allowance there. I do, because you yeah. can just pull the paper yeah. away from those. OK, bits. brilliant. So once that's done, I'm going to press this the right way. Today's flown past, doesn't it? I can't believe it's 10 to 12 already. Is it 10 to 12? Yeah. There we go. So I've pressed this one, and then I'm going to flip it over again. Yeah. Use this piece of card. To fold your paper out the way again. My paper fold in a perfectly straight line. And then with the ruler. Trim that down again. And then use, I'll use this one. Yeah, because it doesn't, also it doesn't matter with this Macau solder, because it's the same both sides, really, isn't it? So you line that up with the edge of the yellow fabric. Line that up, and I'm going to flip it over again. I mean, you could pop a little bit of glue there, because it comes off, just yeah. to keep those edges together. Flip it over, and then I'll just fold it back to make sure those raw edges are still lined up, and they are. OK, um, just see, so I'll, I'll let Joe do that, and then I'll explain. And then that one's stitched on. OK. If you're unsure about this, use a wide stitch length first. Sew it. If you're happy, it fits. Then go over it with the smaller stitch length because yeah. it's not much to unpick if it's a wide okay. stitch length. So then, do you leave? You don't leave the paper in it or anything like that, do you? Trim it to size. Yeah. Join them. I'd like to join them together with the paper in, or you can remove them. But I would join all three together with the paper in. And then... okay, so you, you make two of those, and you make the orange one, which we're not obviously not going to make now. So you've got that, that, and that, and two of those all made up. Then you sew them all together in the order. Once it's completed, with the ruler, trim to these lines so you've got the finished rectangle. I would leave the papers in, you can remove them if you want. But then when you make it into a quilt quilt, you can take the paper out, don't yes, you? Yes, definitely. Because it goes in the bed and everything. Um, I just need to tell you, right, the original, this one, sold out. We then brought in the new one. So this is the one with the stars, the grey stars in it. Sold out, so we then brought in the spot one. A couple of people have changed their mind, and, and so there's, I've got two of these left because they've bought two of the ones with the spot in. So what I've got available is I've got both of them available. I've got this one available. There are two of those for £91.99. Oh. Oh, the other dark one sold out. So all I've got available now for the night time is this one, the original one. And I've got... Do you want the trolley? And I've got... How many of the light daytime ones have I got there? OK, we're just going to have a look now. Oh, there's a, f there's a few. There's still I think it's still less than 10 now, but there's still a few of the daytime ones left. OK. So I'll just trim it out just okay. so you see what the finished <laughs> look looks like. I really like the daytime one. I think it's a really fresh 
colour palette. I love these. It's two called oh, we're calling it daytime. It's called it's called blast off. It's called blast off. I love these two colours together. The orange and the blue, or the duck egg blue and the orange. Yeah, but it's not there though. No wadding. No, that no the round one, Wayne, that was on the bottom of your Wendy on the bottom of your. Um, Oh, okay. Also, I found out about it for you as well while I was um, out to lunch the other day. Anyway, um, it's the round one. That's the one. Don't shoot it. <laughs> He's going to launch it at me then. <laughs> like a rocket. Um, this is the wadding that we've used. When we quilted this one, this was the wadding we used. Wasn't it was? It? Uh, premium polyester. It's a... Uh, um, isn't it 80-20, this one? Is it all polyester, this one? Hang on. Oh, polyester, that one. All polyester, that one. 12 99 Do you know what? It's all about personal choice. If you go to our website, there's a, so many different ones to choose from. All different sizes, all different, because we've got the cotton, the bamboo, the cotton mix, the poly mix, wool, all of them on there. Oh. Okay, so this one has a square joined... Mm. So this, this the is bottom. the equivalent, is this bit here. It is. So then what you do is you'd make exactly the same there. So there would be the grey there, there'd be the bright orange on this one, and the grey there, and then you make another, and then you just seam them together, and then you've made a block. Well, that, that shape, isn't it? Because you then have to extend. It is, yeah. yeah. Okay. <sighs> uh, there's a, it's not difficult, but there's a lot to it, isn't there? It looks very, yeah. very simple, but actually it's quite, I, I imagine it's quite, satisfying to do with all the different things. There's quite a few techni different Skills, techniques yeah, in it yeah. as well. Um, because if you're not very... See, foundation paper piecing, once you get the hang of it, I think it's really addictive. Um, these are nice, just nice, simple shapes to start with. But if you are nervous, just cut larger pieces out so you've got more room to play with um, and you just trim it down. Um, if, you, if you're terrified of it, could you just put blue blocks in an applique on top? Because yes. what's the Bondina for? What's the Bonder web for? This... The world at the bottom. Oh, okay. In fact, I have the template. Yeah, we've got a couple of minutes, so we're fine. We have this in the yes. Pattern. The world. So I cell tape them together. Yeah. And then I have the piece somewhere. Oh. What do you need? What do you need? <laughs> I have the piece of fabric. I cut it so I could lay it out. Yes. Here it is. Now here it is. You're just not looking. I just keep it in half. I know. There's quite a lot. I've got so many little bits. I've yes. So this is on the fold here. Yeah, got it. But before you do, before you cut this out, you do a strip of bonder web along the top here. Oh, just along the top. And it tells you how the width. I think it's 36 and a half inches by however much deep. And yes. you fuse that to the back of this, and then cut this out, following right. this line, this template. Yeah. And then this area with the bonder web, you have the quilt up there and you fuse this curved edge. Instead of being seamed to the bottom of the central section, oh, I see. it overlaps by this much. So that's why you need the bonder web. Yes. Yeah. And I folded this back just to make sure that it matched up properly. Because Do you want to quite... get the boys back in because we're going to go off anyway and they want to come with? Bye. So you just want the correct size yes. area overlapping. Fuse that on. Now, Hannah says if she was making this, she'd want to put her name, McBabe, down. That's her... In By the way, if you want to follow produce Hannah, it's McBabe on Instagram. Put McBabe going on there. How would you do that? Very quickly. Is it just Ooh. appliqued on, would you? I would either quilt it on, so draw it out with the water erasable pen and sew around it. Or... Oh, Hannah, that'd so be a brilliant idea. Supple. Or uh, just applique the letters on. OK. Right. Shall I go and do bundle, bounder, then we'll come back here, and then we can say goodbye okay. properly. All right, then. So just watch the iron. Will do. OK. Oh, right. OK. Yes. OK. So I've got the, day, the blast off, which is the one that Joe's been making there, uh, the daytime one, really, the daytime one. Um, so what you get is you get your bonder web, you get your instructions, you get your thread, you get half a metre of all, the, all these gorgeous fabrics, half a... Half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre, half metre. Uh, one metre of the aeroplanes, one metre of the aeroplanes, two metres of the daytime sky. 81 pounds and 49 pence. 
there's no, there's no uh, nighttime ones left. The, the dark blue ones have gone. The dark blue ones have sold out. Oh, robot, robot, robot. One see it being made, 31st of May. Um, yours is a slightly different colorway look because you get the eyes, you get the little white for the face, you get the uh, blue, you get the blue linear and the orange linear, you get the instructions, you get the embroidery thread, you get threads and you get the zip, 31 pounds and 99 pence. And then last but not least, now the lamb earlier, we had hundreds of people missing out. They recreated a new bundle for the lamb, right? They recreated... You don't get eyes in the new bundle. You have to embroider those on yourself. But what you do get in the bundle is you get the instructions, you get the thread, you get the embroidery thread. Now, they've changed the colour because obviously the one earlier had um, orange and green. Well, now we've got yellow and blue. But you still get the dimple fleece, half, half a metre. You still get the anti-pill fleece for the body, half metre. There's enough there to make two lambs easily. And you get the um, toy stuffing as well which has also now disappeared. <laughs> the toy stuffing as well. So um, you get all of that for £23.49. pence. Okay, so now what you need, do need to do, as you've seen all day long, you do need to check out your baskets. That's the most important thing to do. Right, we're just going to show you the menu now. Is it ready? It'll be ready in just a second, Hannah says. I'll just stand here with you. What else have I got to talk about? Because I just said, checking out your baskets. Oh, make use of the spend and save for today only. Do you remember? It'll be on the web tomorrow, but not on the telly if you want to buy something on the telly. But what you can do is you can, don't bother putting in a code, the call centre or the whoever does all that thingy at the end, then coagulation at the end of the day. No. What's the word? That one. Anyway, here's the menu for tomorrow. So, uh, it's I'm in tomorrow, miss it, miss out at 8 o'clock. And then at 9 o'clock, I've got the Elna machine deal. At 10 o'clock, I've got fabulous fabric bundles. And then at 11 o'clock, I've got sewing gadget magic. Now, just so you know, I've only got one guest tomorrow for 20 minutes. And the rest of it is all me. I do apologise. So, I'll need lots of messages tomorrow. So, what are you going to get up to today, then? Probably looking around the city. Looking around the city? And explore. Yeah. Shopping, sweets, cake. <laughs> Not sweets. Not sweets? Does she not know if you have sweets? No, he doesn't like sweets. Nothing. Something wrong with you. Anyway, thanks, Joe. Oh, thank you. Thank you, boys. Just want to wave bye bye because we're going to go now. I'll see you tomorrow morning at. No, I don't want to wave. Can you wave? <laughs> I'll, see you I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. Thank you, Joe, for all your expertise. I'm sorry it's been a bit chaotic today, but, you know, it's live television, isn't it? <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go early, I'm afraid. I'll see you tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. I'm so hungry, I can't tell you. Uh, thanks ever so much for your company. See you tomorrow. We have an amazing offer for you this weekend. Only available on Saturday the 10th and Sunday the 11th of February. If you shop with us and spend £50 or more, you'll save up to £15. You can buy anything from our website or on the TV shows. And the more you spend, the more you'll save. If you spend £50 or more, you'll get £5 off with code SAVE5. Or if you spend £75, you can use SAVE10 to get £10 off. Best of all, if your order comes to £100, you can save £15 with code SAVE15. The offer starts on Saturday the 10th of February and runs until 8am on Monday the 12th of February. You can only use the code once, but with our daily £2.95 postage and packaging, you can add to your basket all day to boost your savings. So shop from our TV shows or direct from our website at sewingquarter.com this weekend and enjoy our special spend and save discount. For full terms and conditions, see sewingquarter.com.